Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Right, that's coming out the wrong thing. Give me one sec. Right, chat. Let me know how all the settings are. Uh, welcome, 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 welcome. Hello. So, right, chat, today we have uh, numerous things. Firstly, this is a sponsored stream, but more on that later. We'll not get into that for a few more hours. I have two things that I want to play, and I want you guys to decide what we're going to play first. We're doing them both, but I want to I want to know what you guys want to, want to play first. So, there's a mod for Halo 3 that I made a video about like two years ago um, that was like the first full custom campaign for Halo 3 called New Covenant, right? So... We can either play through that first. We're going to do them both. So whichever one you choose to do first, the other one we're going to do second. There's that, or there's a really cool zombies map for like Black Ops 3 zombies that is last resort, as in like the Halo 3 map, completely turned into a zombies map. So give me a one in chat if you want last resort as a zombies map to do first, or two in chat if you want uh, New Covenant. Yo, Kobe, how's it going, dude? Kobe. Kobe. Mispronunciation. Okay, this is looking pretty split. <laughs> this is looking pretty split. One, 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 seven. Okay. Uh, New Covenant, two, 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 two. Okay, this is very split. Probably the most split I've ever seen. Um, let's go. Oh, we can do polls. That's actually a good point. I think, let me... Uh, here we go, start a poll. Right, okay, I'm gonna ask a poll. Uh, sorry, Helen and Mila, appreciate it. Plus, plus, week. Plus, plus, the books literally obliterates a man. You know what? Thank you for the five bucks, Josh. Funnily enough, I'm actually making a video about something like that very soon. I saw that meme yesterday and I was laughing, so I was like, huh, that's the basis of like three videos that I'm working on right now. Right, okay, chat. There's a poll in chat. Up in the chat box, answer that poll. There's a comfy sounding keyboard, thank you. <laughs> okay, looks like we're doing New Covenant first. Um, hopefully, the stream doesn't lag at all. Um, so I didn't, I didn't notice when I, when I went live, the bit rate is a bit higher than I'd usually put it. It should be fine. Um, but if not, I have to restart the stream, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll be fine. Okay, we're doing New Covenant first. Right, let's do that first then. So if I go MCC, right, it might be a bit loud. We'll have to wait and see. Greetings, welcome to Death Templar. Oh, you guys hear that beautiful sound? Wait, hang on. Oh. Wait, no, hang on, the MC the MCC's not on. There we go, there we go. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Right then. So, New Covenant. Uh, I have played um, the first level of New Covenant ages ago. Like a long time ago. I think it was like two years ago. It was before Infinite came out. Um, but I've never... I know, I know that it has like a full campaign now. Yeah, see, there's three whole missions. Uh, the, and I read something. I'm not going to spoil it. But I read something that's on, I think, the last level. And when I read it, I was like, wait, hang on. What? That's not real. So, we'll see. Um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully the stream doesn't lag. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Right then. Uh, let's keep all that stuff off. Normal difficulty. Uh, yeah. Right, so this first level... You may have seen the video, you may have not seen the video. Like I said, it was a long time ago, so you might have not seen the video. But I have made a video already about this first level. Uh, but it's been a long time since I've played it. It's, it's really cool. Custom cutscenes as well. You have my thanks. For standing by him to the end. I would like to see our home to know that it is safe. 
Bruno. We have been to. Take us home. Take us home. Mickey, it's thanks to T-Rex, dude. <laughs> YouTube does not like that word, let me tell you. Oh, that is loud. Hang on. Let me bump it down a little bit. That is very loud. Here we go. Job preparations are nearly complete, Arthur. Good. I think, I don't know what this is rendered in, if it's SFM or Blender or something. But it is very cool. It's definitely, yeah, it's SFM or Blender. It's very cool. This is definitely the most, like, fully fledged custom campaign that's been made so far. I can't think of anything that's been made that's even close to this, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's hard to tell if it's SFM or Blender, honestly. It's really hard to tell. The lighting is like, I don't know. Blender typically has much better lighting than SFM, but I've seen some people that can get absolutely oh, god tier lighting in that's not SFM. That's brutes. They're sending a boarding <laughs> Tyler, thanks for the books, dude. Nothing better than drink oh, watching Hidden Xperia. <laughs> get some water, Danny. Have some water, Tyler. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Mickey, thanks for 20 books, dude. Thank you very much, man. I love you too. That is very generous. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much. Bro, that's the and this is and Blender, and this is Blender. Fair. We are running on a skeleton crew. Are you sure? We will see. We will see. There we go. Uh, I played the mod before. Let me know. Is the stream alright then, guys? It's not lagging at all, right? We're good. It's good. Beautiful. So that's the annoying thing about streaming on YouTube. It's uh, when you go when you have to restart a stream. It doesn't just go straight to the same the same link. It goes to a new link. Tyler, thanks for the fuck you. We're drinking water, lots of water, no hangover. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Is the level gonna start? Oh, here we are. I hear something. I heard a plasma rifle. Here we go. Okay. Right, I have... <laughs> Interesting, I can shoot. Yeah, it's black for me as well. My entire MCC screen has gone black, hmm. Right, tell you what, let me, uh, let me restart. I'm gonna restart MCC. All I can hear is a leech dying. I just heard Arbiter die as well. Right, let me restart the game. I did see some people in the in the comments on Steam saying that um, the mod was a bit buggy. Maybe I'm blindfolded. Nah, I've played the first level before and I know that that is uh, not how it's meant to be. Let's try again. We'll give it a few tries. If it doesn't work, we'll go to last resort. Okay. Halo 3 blindfolded edition. It's like blind on the steroids. Okay, uh, I'll resume it. Fingers crossed. Hey, hell yeah, there we go. Just a bug. Oh no, it's reset on my binds. No, oh, give me one second. What is going on here? Why are my binds reset? Why would I ever want grenade to be F? What is going on here? Right, okay. 
melee, F. Uh, throw grenade, G. Z. Change weapon, Q. There we go. That's more like it. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty good, Kula. Thank you for asking. Hopefully you're doing well too. Right, defend the chamber. So we have, oh, I, I did this a while ago. Um, oh, that is loud as well. Let me just turn that down real quick. Let me know what the audio is like, guys. Uh, and I can always bump it up for you guys whilst turning it down for me. So if you didn't catch it from the intro, um, the law of this, whoa, okay, well, I got melted. Um, <laughs> the law for this is basically, this is right after the end of Halo 3 when Arbiter and the Shadow of Intent go back to St. Helios. But this is happening like on the way back to St. Helios. Uh, basically like a, ru a brute raiding party. Um, jumpers, pretty much. I love that. I'm playing a, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna center my crosshair. I'm gonna center my crosshair because uh, I'm not used to, where is it? Center, there we go. I've been playing center crosshair for like so many years now on MCC with Halo 3, I'm just so used to it. Even though it's not how Halo 3 used to be. I've become so accustomed to it. Ooh. Yeah, this isn't that difficult. Um, at least in terms of difficulty wise, it's it's on on normal. All technicians. Okay, that guy very kindly threw a deployable cover down for me. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, what's the equipment button? Oh no, what's the equipment button? Okay, I'm gonna need to know what that is. I don't know why it's reset on my binds. Equipment. Shift. Okay, that makes sense. I can get used to that. Could do with something that's headshot. Oh my god, this stalker's. Ow. Thank you. Oh my god, dude, that at least going for it. Is that you say to harm? Tell me it's not. Oh god, no, not drones. I should have kept the plasma rifle. That is a lot of drones. Jesus. So I think these are meant to be like Covenant Loyalists still. That are uh, still alive. Halo 3 really has aged gorgeously. This game looks and plays, like, perfectly still. Like, honestly, you, if you release a new Halo game that just looked and played exactly like this, I would have zero problems. I find it amazing how well this game's lighting in particular is aged. Oh, God. Oh, no. Poor Elite. How does it feel to be dead? Why is the contact bridges? Uh, Death Stranding, my friend. Okay, let's go, boys. Unless you guys stay here. Oh, that's Arthas. You never actually see him in gameplay, do you, in Halo 3? It's only Halo 2. Yeah, the human faces, some of the textures have aged pretty badly. Um, but the, the lighting in this game in particular is unbelievable still. Like, better than a lot of new games. Ooh, that's, they like throwing the purple covers down. Oh god. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was a silly mistake. Here we go again. Is our testing floodgate? No, he doesn't come down, does he? I wish you could pick that battery up and throw it. Our test never comes down to the surface. He's very much just a shipmaster in Halo 3. Okay, I gotta push this. Ugh. Yeah, I kind of wish we got to see him in action as well. I always love that in Halo 2. I'm not gonna lie, right? The spiker might be shit in Halo 3, but it's so satisfying hearing those jackal shield pops. Oh, give me one sec, guys. One second. Sorry, Artash just came to knock at my door. He wants to ask why uh, why he wasn't sat in his comfy uh, seat on the bridge and why he was on the ground with a weapon in his hand. 
If I remember right, he gets destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he didn't die. A brute captain with a hammer. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> See, great minds think alike. Yeah, I had art on my door. It's no biggie. No biggie. Oh, God. These rooms on Halo 2 Legendary are horrible. Very difficult. Do you remember that? I do. And I miss it. I miss it a lot. Oh, there you go. That was the regular death. Remember, that's the death I remember. Poor guy got annihilated. This feel very weird having to rely on, like, just projectile weapons and no, like... Well, everything in Halo 3 is projectile, but... Oh, my... That spike grenade annihilated me. You can use rocks as weapons. I've got two sticks and a rock. Dual wielding sticks and then using a rock as a grenade. Oh, my... Dude! He does not want to die. Oh, my God. He does not want to die. Oh, God. I did not mean to shoot that elite, then. Uh oh, there we go. I had to get, I had to get the melee in before him. Right, screw them all, huh? Is there anything else here? I, could, I, I need to rush to that carbine, ideally. Uh, I honestly don't know if this mission is any different to the last time I played it. Um, it's been so long since I last played it, I honestly couldn't tell you. Right, I'm just gonna flee. The stalk is everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have no equipment either. Come on, shields. Don't fail me now. Dude, this would be, like, impossible on, on Legendary. Thank you very much, Brute. No! <laughs> this would be fucking impossible on Legendary. Oh my god. Right. Give me that. I think the best thing to do here is just make a beeline for it. Yeah, this is normal. Uh, no, I'm not 100% MCC. I'm not. I, I can't be asking you lasso. I really just don't have lasso in me. Like, I could probably do, manage, like, Halo 2. Or, no, not Halo 2. I can manage, like, Halo 3. Like, Halo 1 as well, maybe. But, like, Halo 2 lasso. Even with all the skips. Nah. I just, I don't know. I just know I wouldn't enjoy it. Like, Lasso is one of those things where I just... I don't even bother trying it. Because I know it, it's not like Legendary where it's, like, difficult, but it's manageable. Lasso is just evil. Like, Lasso I would not have fun with. Where's that? Oh, my God, dude. The Stalkers. I'm going to die again. Oh. Okay, I should be good. Unless that Grunt... Okay, there we go. Away with you. Oh, I didn't stick him. No. I hear three shots in this car by now. I should have taken that fuel on earlier. That was a mistake. I don't know why I didn't take that, to be honest with you. Okay. There's one guy left. <laughs> Thanks for the bucks, Tyler. Favorite game not, that's not Halo. Um, My favorite non-Halo game is a toss-up between Resident Evil 4 and Metal Gear Solid 2. It's a very... I can never decide. You ask me, you ask me that question seven days in a row, and I'll give you seven different answers. Uh, wrong way. Okay, this way. Wait for shields to recharge. I wish it was that easy. I wish it was that easy. I'm so used to having flood jump out of those uh, those windows. Also, can we just take a second to realize how absolutely crippled I am for weapons? I'm using the Halo 3 plasma pistol on its own, not even dual wielded. Okay, almost. <laughs> Thank you, Hurley. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed the video as well. Would love to see Terminal videos in the next game about the Endless and how Born Seller and Co. locked them up. Yeah, the, I, I think it would be cool to have the, the ISO that's in the game, but he's in a completely different galaxy now. Uh, the guy just went to live a happy, a happy, peaceful life with his family on some far distant planet. I really don't want to kill... Okay, well, I was going to say I don't want to kill the elites, but... Dude, this room's cool. 
Kind of reminds you of what slip space looks like when you're inside it. This is Halo 3 with Halo 2 assets. So this is like all the Geo from um, from Gravemind and High Charity. I think it's technically Gravemind. Alright, I wonder if there's that sword and beam rifle. Oh, no, there's Carbine, is there? I'll take that. Can I still get up there is the real question. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, my God. There are so many enemies. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> there we go. Right, get rid of those pesky snipers. Carson, thanks for the T-Bucks, dude. Also, Max, let me say thank you. Thank you for the five bucks, bro. I appreciate that. Oh, my God. There we go. He's dead. <laughs> I've been doing that route on Halo 2 now for like 15 years and I can never go the normal way again. As soon as I saw like the first Halo 2 speedrun and I saw them do that route, I was like, right, that's just the route that I'm going to take forevermore. That brute shot hurts. God, man, I missed the brute I can't believe... I, I, I will never, ever, ever be able to wrap my head around why Halo Infinite being the first game to bring the brutes back in a mainline game since Reach didn't bring back the brute shot. Make it make sense. Please make it make sense. This room is so cool. I like the like the purple lights in it. Oh my god. <laughs> I keep forgetting how many enemies this mod spawns. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Fem, thanks for the five bucks. Third mission of the campaign is my favorite so far. I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. I've Yeah, okay, Fem, I read a... F I, I tried not to see any spoilers, but I read a few little things. And I, when I read them, I was like, oh shit, okay, this is going to be fun. Yo, Jason, thank you, bro, the 100 bomb. Dude, thank you so much, man. Holy fuck. That is very, very generous. Holy shit. No message, but bro, thank you very much. Absolute king. Chat, can we get a Jason King in the chat, please? Thank you very much, man. That is very generous. Legend. Tactical Nick. I need to get some um, updated streaming uh, like uh, notifications and stuff. I need to get some uh, some updated ones um, that are more simplistic. I think I might speak to uh, my good friend Will about that soon. Fellas, th thank you all very much for the uh, for the support of this stream. I really appreciate that. That's very generous. God, I thought those grenades were going to shoot the plasma battery then. Not like this. You know what? Just to be safe, I'm going to throw that off the map. I don't trust that jackal sniper not to shoot it. I I don't know if I'm missing stuff out, um, but I feel like there should be more custom campaigns like this that have been made for Halo 3 with mod tools. Like, I'd really like to stream more of these because these are really fun. Um, but I just don't really know if there's any more. There's like overhauls and stuff. Ooh. What is this? I just regularly. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I use uh, I use Streamlabs. Um, the issues with YouTube streaming are like on YouTube streaming's end though. Like if I end the stream, I have to like start a brand new stream on like a different link. Oh no, no, save the elite. Uh, I can't hit him with a hammer. Okay, well, you know what, Elite? I tried to save you, but it was your fault. Are you excited for the MGS3 remake? I was really hyped initially, but then, like, I saw them scrubbing, like, Yoji Shinkara and Kojima's name off it. I don't know. I don't, I don't like modern Konami at all. Um, and I don't know. I think it's going to be good, but I think, I, I don't know. I'm just, like... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm gonna play it. I am definitely gonna play it. Um, I might even stream it on Twitch, maybe, or over on here. But I just, I don't know, man. Something just seems off with it. And it's mostly modern Konami and how they scrub Kojima and Shinkara off it. But I don't know. Also, MGS3 isn't my favorite MGS. Uh, MGS2 is. Whereas, like, so like, I feel a lot more. I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. I think MGS3 is incredible but mgs2 is just another it's on another level for me um 
I think, for me, my MGS ranking probably goes MGS 2, then 1, then 3, then 4, then 5. Of the canon games, at least. Yeah, MGS, MGS 2. I love MGS 3's story. I love all the MGS stories, but um, besides Survive, but we don't talk about that. But I do think MGS 2, uh, by quite a long shot, has the most intelligent story. Like, I, MGS 2, to me, is like the video game equivalent of Interstellar, in terms of like how intelligent its writing is. Nothing has come close. Like, absolutely nothing for me has come close. Okay, then. This is as far as we got before, remember. Restore power to the control room. Oh. Right, so I remember before, the level ended there. Okay, this is all new territory, fellas. This is all new territory. Uh, Arbiter has the flashlight in this. It's the Halo 3 one. Unfortunately, he doesn't have camo. Man, it's amazing how fun, just like, killing Covenant or Flood in Halo 3 still is. This is just like peak, peak fun factor for me. Like, I prefer Halo 2, but Halo 3, I think, has the, the fun factor. More so than more than Halo 2. Um, no Halo game since has come even close to being as fun as this. S ranking all MGS5 missions. Oh, it's the ninja. Using the, the Grey Fox suit. Or is the uh Is it the Grey Fox suit or using the um the Metal Gear Rising suit? Or is that no that's what you get for S ranking, isn't it? Max, thanks for two bucks, dude. That Halo 4 campaign theater. Yeah, I would love... Oh, dude, infinite campaign theater. Or even, like, photo mode. I'd, I'd love that so much. Okay, generator active. Let's get a sip of coffee. Hopefully that jackal just doesn't see me. Oh, you're doing it to get riding. Yeah, fair. Oh, no! Bro, that was, like... A pixel away from his area. Gonna have to use that. I will say, not having, like, so many precision weapons to rely on, I feel like I'm having to use uh, equipment a lot more. The few times that I've had it, I feel like I have to rely on it a lot more, which is different. It definitely feels harder. What would be your ultimate next story for, for Halo? Um, <laughs> I don't know how they'd do this. I mean, my ultimate, ultimate story would be something that involves, like, Obviously, the Flood, Foreigners, uh, Oni, and the Banished. And obviously, the Arbiter as well. Right. Off you go. Oh, no. It's not looking good, Bruce. I need a need lap. I just want the Flood back, man. Like, I... I'm going to be honest. I still... I still stand by my Infinite Campaign review. I still really, really like the campaign. I think it's the best campaign uh, since... In terms of fun factor, since Halo 3, I mean, Reach's story is, like, significantly better than Infinite's, like, by a long shot. But I just don't really find Reach Vanilla very fun to play at all. Um, whereas I, f I found Infinite more fun to play than Vanilla Reach. Story wasn't as good by a long shot, but the, I just find it more fun. But... I still think overall, I still really enjoy the finished campaign overall. Has, welcome, dude. How's it going? Jack, thank you very much, man. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I'll keep a sword. I do wish they hadn't gone away from numbers of it with Halo games. I wish Halo, I wish Infinite was called Halo 6. Because, like, it's going to be rude. Just rude not having a game that's Halo 7. Like, I, I, the next Halo game, I, I'm, be prepared, I will call it Halo 7. I don't care what its official name is, I will call it Halo 7. Because it's, I mean, it's, it's 7 and Halo, right? Like, I have to. I will call it Halo 7. I don't care how many people correct me and tell me I'm wrong. In my head, I'm right. Uh, you know what, I'm, even though it's not really corny, I'm kind of surprised they've never used the subtitle, like, Reclaimer. Halo Reclaimer for a game. It's corny and like, it's like obvious, but, or like Halo Reclamation. Right, uh, activate the console. So the lift should be active now. Oh no, that's not a lift, is it? It's a generator.
Uh oh. Hold on, Artemis. I'm coming back. Out of time. Yeah, I don't like it when when games drop numbers as well. Like, dude, I love how like Final Fantasy is on like Final Fantasy 16 now. It's a bit over the it's a bit over the top, but at the same time, I don't know. There's a, there's a certain degree of charm to it. I always think when they lose the numbers, it always seems it starts to feel really corporate when games shed the numbers. Poor Jackal. God, dude, the sound and like the visual effect of popping a Jackal shield in this game is like unparalleled. Okay, that is going to be useless. Halo 7 Funeral. <laughs> right, time to go crazy with the sword. Somebody play Rules of Nature. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is not good. Ah! There we go. Yeah, but Doom never really used numbers, though. At least... Okay, Doom did use numbers until... It had three numbers, right? There was, like, Doom, Doom 2, and Doom 3. And that's it. Yeah, Reach is an exception. If it's... I mean, Reach wasn't a spin-off. I would never understand why people call Reach a spin-off. Reach was not a spin-off. Reach was very obviously a main game, but it was a prequel, right? Unless you go the Resident Evil route, you can't really call it, like, Halo Zero. Ooh. But isn't Halo Zero already a thing? That's like a, a mobile game, right? Like a fan-made mobile game, Halo Zero. Or something. Things though, if you did, hit, like, you did, like, Halo Contact Harvest after that, it'd be, like, Halo Minus One. Or, like... If you want to be even weirder, you can like, hate, like Silent Storm would be minus one, Contact Harvest would be minus two. You know what? I guarantee you there's like, there's one Japanese game out there that has done that. I get, it's always Japanese games that have like weird naming conventions like that. I guarantee there's a Japanese game that, where there's an entry in that franchise that's like, the game minus three or something. Is that door going to open? Oh, there's a stalker stuck in the lift. Ooh. Not anymore, there's not. <laughs> uh, I've not played through Ru Ruby's Rebalance CE. I'm waiting for his Halo 2 to make a video on. Because uh, his stuff, I played through one of... I think it was... Oh, no, I made a video about his Halo 3 mod. Um, that was really, really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Okay, this is going to be an issue. We're a very long distance from those guys, and we have absolutely, like, negative range. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll copy some grenades. We're good. We're good. Okay, that jackal sorted himself out for me. Off you go. Midnight, welcome, dude. Halo minus 69,420. You know, at some point, maybe in like 5,000 years, we'll hit that point. Godzilla minus one is a thing. See, there you go. I knew it was really something Japanese. They, they like the weird naming conventions over there. And I, I like it as well, to be honest with you. It's different. What I really don't like is when they use the same name again. Like, dude, it, it pisses me off so much how the new Modern Warfare 2 is just called Modern Warfare 2. But with Roman numerals instead of... Oh, my Lord. Roman numerals instead of numbers. Like... Bro, no one is calling it Modern Warfare 2 II or anything like that. Like, it just is Modern Warfare 2. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is... Oh, my. What do I do here? I'm cutting this one close. No, you will not headshot me with a carbine. Okay, there we go. He will not. Does MCCPC not have split screens? I seem to remember it not getting that for whatever reason. Um, kind of wish it would do. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's a feature that like tons of people would use because they probably wouldn't. But at the same time, I wish that it would still get that. <laughs> Halo Seven, Luke the Carrier form. Oh God. These jackals love spawning on top of each other. Yeah, Metro didn't use numbers. What I mean is, like, when, when a franchise uses number conventions for a name, 
and then like it hits a certain point and then ditches it. Like Call of Duty did that a long time ago. Like when they hit World at War, it stopped being like like I, I remember everyone used to call it COD Five way back in the day. In fact, a lot of my friends still do call it COD Five. Uh, ventriloquist, I, ventrilo ventriloquix. I kind of made that video already, like last year, I think. Um, at least for, I, I don't think I've done one specifically for campaign, which I'm, I might actually do. I might, you know what, that, that could actually be quite fun, writing a sequel to Infinite for a video. I'll stick that in the, uh, ever-expanding list of videos that I want to make. I remember the last time anyone started calling Call of Duty by the numbers was Black Ops. I had like one friend that used to call BO1 COD7. And that was the last time I ever heard anybody use numbers for Call of Duty. COD15. Isn't it like COD25 now or something? It's just something ridiculous like that. Oh no, I should have kept the hammer. Yo, Feed, feed Queen Izzy, thanks for the one bucks, dude. Thank you very much. You know what? I don't know if I've ever used a sword on a hunter in Halo 3. Wait, wait. Was there only one hunter? There's another Bond brother somewhere, lurking somewhere. Nah, we're on more than 19 cards now, aren't we? Surely. There's got to be more than 19. That's a really, really, really conservative estimate. I thought it'd be more than that. I thought it'd be deep into the 20s now. I like how that barrel was placed there. That plasma battery was placed there, like, so purposely. <laughs> I love it. I love it when devs do that. I still want a Contact Harvest game very, very, very bad. I was rereading a little bit of Contact Harvest uh, yesterday, I think it was, for a video. And, like, man, that book would be so fucking good as a game. How has it not happened yet? We get more Johnson, we'd flesh out Tartarus, like a fan favorite character more. We get cool characters like Burn, we'd get like Innies versus versus Marines. We'd see the first contact with the Covenant. There's like that uh, honestly, it kind of surprises me that that was wasn't made over Reach. Like it, it out of all the um the prequels for Bungie to make, I suppose Reach makes sense because like it directly leads into Halo 1, but oh Too afraid of the steamy Johnson scene. <laughs> That's true. How would they do that? <laughs> that boy got invincibility. Rest in peace, Arbiter. Arbiter's dead. Oh, is that some like shipwide invincibility thing? Install the shield. Why? The covenant, heretics lies no more. We are stronger than them. A new covenant rises. Oh, are these meant to be the banished? We will destroy the human planets, and then we'll come for yours. I'm assuming that's meant to be the banished then, hence the red armor. For the humans to fight. Why spare me? Because I want you to warn the humans. I want them to try and stop us. Very well. Give me my crew and let us go. Huh. You're the only crew now. Uh oh. No. <laughs> Wait, is Arthur's about to get executed? 
Oh god, that's quite brutal actually. Oh, it has been. <laughs> Yikes. Get him off my ship. Christ. Oh shit, is that a CAS cruiser with invincibility? Rest in peace, human space, if it is. Sir, we have an elite distress beacon on the radar. How should we respond? Let's take a look. These cutscenes are really good. I never thought I'd be responding to a beacon from the Arbiter. It's only been a few days. What happened? A Covenant offshoot has taken Shadow of Intent. And they have installed a forerunner shield to protect it. I was captured, but released to warn you. They are looking for a fight. They intend to burn your planet as revenge for stopping their great journey. I thought the Covenant was disbanded. Who else could be behind this? It's not the Covenant as you know. It's more like pirates, a force who don't agree with the new. So what? Well, uh, maybe they're not banished then. Just pirates. We call on the other species to help us then. Just because the other species aren't at war with you currently, does not guarantee that they will help you. What about your fleets? Both of ours combined will give us a fighting chance. I will send a message. When my fleets left weeks ago, it will take time for them to return. Then we just need to hold out until then. It would be nice, though, if the chief were still here. <laughs> Where it's so easy. What the? I really wish... Oh, shit, hello. Okay, this I didn't expect. Delta, thanks for five bucks, dude. Five bucks to that rank game with, with uh, win on a scooter deck. Ah, oh, dude, GG. I think Rambo is tweeting this actually. John. Cortana. Get to an escape pod now. Dude, the animation is really fucking good. Like, really, really fucking good. Holy shit. Only thing is, I'm not sure why the bit rate's really low in these cutscenes. It's not on stream, by the way. The bit rate's really low for me as well. The animation is, like, really fucking good. What is this place? I don't know. We aren't anywhere near the Ark, that's for sure. The portal was closing as we went through it. Maybe that's why we didn't end up with the others. Anyway, we should head to the frigate and see what equipment we can salvage first. Come on. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I prefer that to Halo 4's opening. I like Halo 4's opening, but I prefer that. It's a lot more hectic and like... Uh, although, kicking a Hyperion-class missile back into a launch is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um, real quick, I was going to say it in a cutscene, but I didn't want to interrupt it. That bit where Arbiter was talking to Hood and he was saying, like, uh, Hood said, can't we call on the other species? I really wish that had been what Halo 4 was, about, like, like, I don't know, something to do, like, with the the Arbiter and the Sword of St. Helios and, like, like allied jackals and grunts and hunters, like, teaming up with humanity. I was, that, before Halo 4 came out, I remember thinking, that I really hope that's what it's going to be. Like, a natural extension of Halo 3. Instead of an isolated story, and obviously it wasn't like that. Um, I'm still waiting for a Halo game to actually do that. Because, like, Halo 5, you fought with the elites for, like, three levels, was it? It was, like, barely noticeable. Um, and that arc was, like, pretty shoehorned into the overall story. It didn't really serve a purpose, to be honest with you. Like, it was, it could have been anywhere else. Like, the what the? So well. they sure build them tough. This is really cool.
I like how it's in a desert as well. Like, very reminiscent of the moor. Oh, so we're going back into the dawn. That's cool. I like how we use the orbital uh, geometry. Oh. Air contaminated, fine cleaner. What the? Dude, if that was a mechanic, imagine that as a game mechanic, like you have to find air filters for your suit or something. Like, um, Metro style. Uh, okay, what are we doing? Where are we off to? Okay, I'm geared up. Now, where are we going, Cortana? Yeah, I have seen it, Kola. Honestly, I really didn't mind Ada's voice in RE4 Remake. I, I get what people were coming from not liking it. Like, I understand why they didn't like it, but I, I, I thought she was pretty good. Oh, hello, Prowler. I should have bought a rockets. There we go. Okay, I'll be having that chopper, thank you very much. There's something about, like... I'm assuming this is going to be a forerunner planet. There's something about infinite deserts on a forerunner planet that's so cool. Oh, yeah. Could Leon Kennedy survive the flood? Probably, yeah. Guy can survive anything. This level's open world. Ooh, nice. There's something that's just so cool about, like... I, I think it's because, like, deserts, to me, are, like, probably the most mysterious kind of, like, biome. And they go really well with foreigner, foreigner things. Like, I always just think, when I see a massive dune like that, I'm always like, right, what's underneath that sand dune? Like, there's got to be something under there. Okay, then what planet is this then? I'm guessing it's going to be a four and a one. Oh, shit. Uh, Matthew's stuck in Arrakis. <laughs> I've still not seen Dune. I need to watch it at some point. One down. Two down. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Okay, we'll take the guys on foot. Maybe it's Menek and Bias. That would be cool. Dude, those jackals love EMPing you. Holy shit. So that jackal just said, oh my god. Oh, hello, is that a chieftain? I feel like I just saw a chieftain. Or a war chieftain. Something through a bubble shield. Something through a bubble shield. Okay, fair enough, I guess not. Oh, hello. I'm blind. All right, I'm blind. What the? Hook me up to that console. This is normal. Only normal difficulty. Let's put them down. Let's take a look. Right then. Oh yeah, it is open world, isn't it? Oh my god, there's a lot of camps. Jesus. One kilometer away. Holy shit. This is big. Do I have anything on the grill today? Uh, not today. Although I think some point next week I'm going to do a brisket. Haven't done one in a little bit. 
that one of those sniper towers? I think it is. Right, we're gonna make a jump over this little hill here. Macro demo vibes. It kind of is like that a little bit. Oh god, that was awful. That was a terrible jump. Oh god, the plasma grenade. I swear half of those Grinch just killed themselves. Uh, I do, uh, Holy Mercy. I do, I do climb. Haven't done for a little bit though. Gym takes up most of my, uh, like, exercise time nowadays. Gym and boxing. Okay, we'll get out and put this guy down. Right, was there a console here? Dude, I forgot how well the chopper handles in Halo 3. I haven't used it for a little while. So Infinite does not handle well at all, whereas this one just feels so nice. I feel like that's their intention is a ramp, right? Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not. Dude, this is massive. Holy shit. When you fight Jake Paul, you never know. You never know. When is that fight? Is the Jake Paul Nate Diaz fight tonight? I really hope Nate Diaz wins. There's something about Jake Paul. I mean, I don't know the guy, so I can't judge him, but I find him really arrogant. Like, he just has this, like, arrogant aura. Um, something about him that I just don't really like. Oh, God, no, not. Well, oh, that's the end of that one, then. Unless. Wait, we're underwater. Are we supposed to be here? Uh, yeah, at some point, uh, Raisin, I'd like to. Oh, shit, okay. Alright, let me get back up there. Yeah, the, I know it's just like really subjective, but I just assume about Jake Paul, like... I don't know, he just seems a bit... A bit arrogant. Oh god, okay, time to get out. No, rest in peace, Chopper. I want KSI to fight him and win. Although, I think KSI's done after he fights uh, Tommy Fury. I think that's it then. I can't imagine him wanting to fight anybody else after that. Yeah, dude, Hunk's theme from, from uh, RE2 Remake is so good. Have that, thank you very much. God, this thing shreds. Okay, so I just, that was so bad that the Tommy Fury won't, won't, won't know what to do. That'd be an interesting way to win. Be so bad that, like, your opponent doesn't know how to predict you. Okay, so I don't actually have to activate anything at these camps. I just go over. Oh, no, I take it back. Yes, I do. That's two. Looks like we're only missing a small piece now. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that didn't sound good. Cortana. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm yeah, okay. sound it. I'll just need a patch when we get back. Right, hop in the prowler. Rest in peace, Chopper. You served as well. 6 p.m. Why are you not having dinner? I ate earlier today so I could do the stream. I ate at like 4 o'clock. I don't like streaming late into the night. Because when I stream for a long time, my voice gets, like, dry. My throat is dry. Um, so, I ate earlier tonight.
Thank you, Ninja. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, more's on the way. Definitely on the way. I always like the middle of the prowler. You can see the turbine is turning. It's not as good as the Spectre, but... <laughs> so dry, oh my god. That's vintage. I honestly don't get how people stream for like as long as some people some people do. Um, I I truly don't get it. Streaming like it seems like one of those things that's so easy until you do it and you realise it's not. <laughs> yeah, I agree, and I wish we got some more as well. The Prowler is both an aircraft and also a uh, brute vehicle. Yeah, SQC streams a lot. Although all that shit at the moment with like his React content is a bit. It doesn't. Re I don't know. He's been a bit of a dickhead about it. I don't. I don't hate SQC, um, but he's been a dickhead about all the React stuff. This is a comfy little valley. It does, you know what, it does kind of look like a drivable jet engine, I see what you mean. It looks like the jet gun from Transit, actually, the middle. Yo, trainer, thanks for 20 bucks, dude. I don't want to try from your Halo content, but I'm going to start content creation. Not for Halo, maybe in the future. Do you have any pointers for a new content creator? Um, make sure you're making content about something that you genuinely enjoy. And try not to lock yourself into a box. Um, like, by all means, specialize in, like, a certain kind of content. But don't get trapped in a certain niche. Because um, if, if anything happens to that niche, or you get bored of it, or you get tired of it, or you want to do something different, um, it's, it's very hard to move out from. Uh, very, very hard. So don't get trapped in a niche. And make sure what you're making is something you genuinely enjoy making. Yeah, I honestly don't know why they didn't put this in Halo 3, the Brute PR. I honestly don't know why. I mean, obviously, FIFA 3 did, but... Hmm. Can I activate it? It's making a noise, but, uh... All of it. Oh. Let's look at what we've got. Hmm. It contains jump points for a covenant carrier class. It also shows a set of coordinates not far from here. Let's oh. see. Oh. Three guesses how we're gonna link it with Arby and, and Hood. Uh okay, I've gotta go over there. I need that ghost. I love how in Halo 3 you can manipulate grav lifts. Well I say that, I just got stuck in it. Uh, will this kill me? No. Okay. <laughs> I got fully stuck in the wall then. Uh, keep spamming it. That's all. <laughs> Crap stuck. Let's look at what we yeah. got. Hmm. Contains jump points for a Covenant carrier class. It also shows a set of coordinates not far from here. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Perfect. I timed that shot perfectly. Right, let's go. That's probably true, Hilbert. Actually, I didn't think of that. That's probably true. Can I get up here? Oh, yes, I can. Should I? Probably not. Can I? Absolutely. Don't kill me. Okay, thank God. I think the guy that made this mod has taken the full damage timer out. Oh, the, the full death timer. So the way that, like, full damage in air quotes works in Halo 3 is when you fall, 
Um, it's not like you don't take impact damage. There's a timer that is like if you're in the air for X amount of time, then you die at the end. And I think he's taking that out, which is very good. So I never liked that. Trainer, thanks for 20 bucks again, dude. Thank you, Libby Content. Maybe one day I can meet you in Act Man in the lobby. That'd be a dream. Good luck out there. Dude, thank you very much. And good luck as well. Good luck. Just make sure you're making something you enjoy and don't trap yourself in a niche and you'll be good. You got you gotta you have to learn almost forever to ignore the numbers. Um ooh, this is kinda comfy. Like you will I still head case over numbers. Everyone does. It doesn't matter how big you are, you always head case over numbers and it's like not healthy. That's the thing for snowbound. Let's see if the cold Oh wait, that's meant to be like the the shield generator thing from Halo Wars. That's cool. Nice. Down we go. Well, I guess there's only one way to go. Down. You ever tried Truth and Reconciliation Halo 3 C remake? I have, yes. Very, very good. Kashira's uh mods are very, very good. She did an incredible job with that. Oh god, I'm not geared to fight drones. Oh Christ. Oh god. Wow, okay. I think the shotgun the shotgun has more range in this, I think. Because normally the Halo 3 shotgun would not hit from that distance. Like, that would not kill normally in Halo 3. Especially in normal. Uh, yeah, I made a video about uh, Ultimate Firefight Sand Trap last year. I think it was my Halloween video last year, actually. Um, although I know since then... I, I, every time I check that mod, the guy's like, right, this is the final update for it. And then, like, I check back a month later, and he's added some, like, something else that's, like, ridiculously big to it. Like, he's added, like, the Grave Mine to it or something, or the Didact to it, after saying it's his last update. It keeps you doing it. It looks really good, though. It was good when I played it, and I know it's like it's gotten it, like infinitely better now. Those fireflies are really comfy. Yeah, this is the Noble Six Cave, actually. This is where we're going. Oh, is that meant to be like waterworks? Okay. Dude. Wow. I was not expecting this. That's fucking cool. Holy shit. This kind of reminds me of in Dark Souls 1, when you first go through the Tomb of the Giants. Is it DS1? Yes, yeah, DS1, where you first go through the Tomb of the Giants. Um, except I can, I can actually see where I'm going. This is fucking cool. Holy shit. You know, we never really get four in a cave system. We had like a tiny, tiny little bit of that in Infinite and a bit in Halo 2 as well. But not like this. Not on this kind of scale. Yeah, Tomb of the Giants fucked me up the first time I did it. Hmm. How did they know about this place? So many questions. This is really cool. Man, Halo 2 had so many things like this that just other, other Halo games just have never done since that I really wish they would. Like, um, obviously, cave, like massive foreigner cave structures, stuff like that. Um, the stone architecture as well. Oh yeah, Lost Isleth was pretty grim. That's the lava one, right? With those towers that spew fire on you. That was pretty grim. That was throwing me off and that door was red. I thought that. It looked like the ship in reach. Oh, sentinels. And their enemies. Okay. Dude, this is a really cool mod. My god, that boy went flying. I'll tell you what, I think I'll uh, I'll treat myself to a sentinel beam. Where do we go? There, maybe? How frequently do I box? Uh, I I don't do, like, dedicated boxing yet. I do it as part of, like, 
like what like when I go to the gym normally. Um, like normally, every two to three days. So not like super frequently yet. This is all the custom uh, geometry. I don't recognize any of this. Oh Christ! Oh my God! Wow. Well, I'll be reviewing Halo Season 2 when it comes out. Um, honestly, I don't know. I'm, I'll definitely do the first episode. And I'll probably do the last one as well. But whether or not I'll do it in the middle, I don't know. Like, I can't tell you how... I mean, I, I can tell you all because you all know. Season 1 was such utter dog shit. I've never seen anything like garbage in my life. Uh, and the only, the only enjoyment I got out of making content... Out of that, we're just fucking laughing at it because it was so shit. We'll see. That show was like the highest tier of garbage I've ever watched though. Um, so, we'll see. Unless season two miraculously turns it around. Which, I mean, let's be honest, it's not going to do that. I think it's very, very safe to assume that that will not happen. Um, then, I, I don't know. Modern Warfare or Black Ops multiplayer? Okay, Modern Warfare overall, but uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't know. I'm a massive old Treyarch fan. Uh, and World, World at War is, like, hands down my favorite Call of Duty. And, like, World at War... Multiplayer campaign zombies just clears everything. Um, I'm gonna be honest, has the the copium for me wore off pretty quick. <laughs> First episode was like average at best, and I was like, okay, well if this is the lowest it goes, then it, it's not awful. Uh, and then it just proceeds to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse, and then got so bad that I genuinely. Could have never predicted it being that shit. But it's funny content, so. We'll have to get across using the machines. Can I just jump? God damn, this is this is different. This is really cool though. Those sentinels gonna be a problem, there's a lot of them. I'm gonna stop taking them out now. Oh shit. I might miss it. Oh my god. Oh my god, they melt you. No! Stop overheating. No, I'm out of ammo! I'm completely out. Phew. Okay, I'm not going to take a flare because that is absolutely useless. I want the carbine. Dude, this, the jump puzzles. This is really cool. What the fuck? Did not expect this. Not at all. Uh, I'll take it we can't go through there. God, dude. Oh my god, Quan. Oh my lord. I just... I don't... I don't get what was going through the heads with that. I would love to know... What the writers were thinking with that. Like, there's... there's I'm sorry, right? If you make it in the movie industry or the TV industry, I know people say like, oh, there's loads of shit stuff, but there is, but you have to have a degree of competence to get that far, right? You have, you just have to. I want to know what somebody with enough competence to get into like mainstream Hollywood writing thought about the absolute trash they were right. I, I refuse to believe they actually thought it was good. Like no writer that was competent enough to get to that point thought that was good. I, they just can't have done. I, I refuse to believe that they did. I refuse to believe they did. It's de it is definitely who you know, not what you know. But even still, like, I don't know, man. Like, even still. Oh, hang on. Is that an alternate route up there? I want to take the alternate route. Dude, I fucking love jump puzzles and I wish Halo did more of them. They're going to destroy me. Ow. 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 Okay, right. Maybe chill it with the sentinel spawns just a little bit, because <laughs> they shred you. I need to save that. 
I mean, the new Star Wars trilogy was pretty shit, right? But it was not Halo show levels of bad. I thought Force Awakens was, like, fine. Force Awakens was just, like, New Hope again. It wasn't as good as New Hope. It wasn't original. But it was fine. Like, there was a, it was a fun movie. I didn't really... I didn't come out of it being absolutely wowed. But I didn't come out of it, like... I came out of, um... Rise of Skywalker. That was like that movie was Halo show levels of bad. That was absolutely fucking garbage. Like I did not like Last Jedi at all. But with Last Jedi, I at least appreciated there was a clear direction they were going for. Like Ryan Johnson was going for something different with the movie, and I appreciated that. I didn't agree with it, and I didn't like it. But I appreciated that he was going for something different, and he had a very clear like direction set out for the movie. Rise of Skywalker was just. I don't even know where to start with that. That that was like Halo show levels of bad. Look at that for a need. Oh my god. It's almost as if I've been playing this game for like 17 years or however long. <laughs> Whoops. Nah, saying that uh, Infinite Warfare had a good campaign is like a pretty, pretty common opinion nowadays. Whoa, what the? <laughs> we have a Sentinel. What was that voice? Sounded familiar. Oh, Sentinel. Um, not Sentinel. I'm on about a monitor. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I kind of want to see some of um, okay. Infinite's is layouts. We need to find and question that voice we heard. It might be linked to this place. Yeah, Rise of Skywalker had no direction. Like, it was just flat out awful. I didn't, I didn't like Rise of Skywalker, but I, I would by no means say it was an awful movie. I think it was, it was a decent movie. I just think it was the complete wrong direction for the story to go in. Um, but Rise of Skywalker was just flat out terrible. I'm noticing that I'm running out of ammo an awful lot. Okay, hopefully that, that chieftain can keep killing the... Thank you, chieftain. How kind of you. And then, you'll let me back smack you. You'll let me back... Oh, almost. That'll do. That'll do. Ooh. Another cutscene. A gold monitor. Chief Yankee, I'll handle this. There, you can come out. We won't hurt you. <laughs> what the? Then why did you destroy the Sentinels? They attacked us. We didn't want to hurt them. We did save you from those Covenant, didn't we? Hmm. I suppose. Or are you here to steal from me as well? Steal? No, we just need to contact our fleet. What did they steal? Hmm. The invincibility. They stole our shield generator. I shouldn't have let them in just because they had the key, but Protocol 68B4 dictates to immediately open the facility upon key recognition. Most of the intruders left, but a few stayed behind. This modded unit and remaining Sentinels have been trying to gain control of this facility for some time now. Though it seems that the perimeter is now clear of hostiles. Well, we yes, indeed. are your friends. You're safe now. Does this facility have a communication system? Oh, yes. This way. Monitor. What is the purpose of this facility? Well, is it a shield world? the primary listening outpost for installation 02 Oh, okay. But we lost contact with the installation approximately 8,200 local cycles ago. We have been on standby for contact from the on site monitors ever since. Our fleet could help with reconnection to the installation if you help us. Perhaps. Here's the communications panel. Thank you. Mayday, Mayday. Contacting any UNSC personnel on open frequencies. This is UNSC AI serial number CTN 0452-9. Can anyone hear me? I repeat, this is Cortana, UNSC. Cortana, where are you? Hey. Is the chief with you? It's good to hear your voice, Admiral. And yes, he's with me. Sending coordinates now. Hmm. It's good to see you in one piece. You too, Cortana. That's cool seeing a hood and Arby on that table as well. Thank you, both of you. But we have information. 
there's an operational forerunner listening outpost for the Epsilon Ring on this planet. We've made friendly contact with its monitor unit. The Covenant were also here and stole a forerunner shield from the outpost and were in possession of jump points for a Covenant carrier class too. Uploading them now. Cortana, we need the information on that ring. Do you still have contact with the monitor unit? I'll patch the monitor in. These jump points, the first three of the last my ship took before it was hijacked, but the rest diverge from the path that we learned. And look, it stops at the human colony planet Andesia, before jumping to Earth. This must be the shadow of intense new path. Hello there. <laughs> oh, re Reclaimers. I'm sorry, I, I did not recognize you from your exterior plating. Monitor, meet Admiral Lord Hood. He will help you establish contact with this the This is really cool. Ring. If you send the coordinates, we will be able to help. Certainly. Monitor 02-274 is pleased to meet you, Admiral Lord Hood. We've had bad experiences with these monitor units before, so excuse my discretion. Do you <laughs> yeah, know just, just a little the bit. shield that was stolen from your outpost? I think I have an idea of where it is. The shield was a prototype for protecting the Maker's most valuable assets. But limited resources meant only one unit was completed at the research station and sent here for testing. Can the shield be breached? Negative. Not from any energy or ballistic force. Then, can it be disabled? Why, yes. A bypass module was created during the testing process of the research station. However, that station suddenly went offline 2,340 local cycles ago. If there's a chance, I will take it. Agreed. Arbiter, take one of the frigates to the research station and retrieve that bypass module. The rest of the fleet will head to Andesia. Monitor, if you're willing, I will station a team here so we can stay in contact. That is an acceptable request. Then it's done. Everyone so we're going to the research station. Finally, a monitor that's not clinically insane yet. Interesting, right? Uh, I kind of wish this is the, this is the direction that like post-war Halo had gone, where it was like actual cooperation with like like we gone to. I mean, there was like an active effort to go and like find and research the rings. There was like the Zeta Halo project. There was the Gamma Halo stuff. But like an active like, not just to go and not not like an active kind of mission to go and find them and research them, but to actually like cooperate with the monitors and make sure that like now that we have the mantle that we like control the rings. Uh, control all the important places in the galaxy and stuff like that. Uh, Aram, uh, thank you for the five bucks, dude. Uh, it's called Falling Upward. Oh, yeah. Hollywood has been releasing garbage. But yeah. I saw that secret. I mean, I'm not into Marvel stuff really at all. Um, but that secret invasion looked pretty bad. Oh, and we've got a crash. Okay, let me restart the game. That secret invasion thing looked pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Um, not great. Not great. I mean, Marvel stuff just feels like it's made in a conveyor belt. I I just don't... None of it feels authentic. It all just feels like it's made. Most... That's what most superhero stuff feels like to me now, to be honest with you. Like, besides the odd the odd thing every now and then, it just feels like it's made in a conveyor belt for mass production. It's not made. Like, I watched... I, saw, I went to see Oppenheimer yesterday, and I was thinking when I was watching that movie, like, it's wild how different that movie feels, like, in like an indescribable way to so much of the shit that's pumped out nowadays. Um, yeah, I heard good things about Guardians of the Galaxy. And to be honest, I saw the first one and it was really good. Um, not Obviously, it's not all of it, but a lot of it to me just feels so mass produced. Whereas you're going to see something like Oppenheimer and that feels like a, like a true movie, like a true piece of cinema, right? And then, I don't know. I don't know. Flavia, thanks for the five bucks, dude. Uh, I had hopes for the first movie too, but it only got worse after that. Rise of Skywalker is something, yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, I, I still enjoy, even though it, um, Force Awakens is just a new hope, I still enjoy it. Um, but it's after that where they just kind of ran it off a cliff. Um, when they squandered Finn's, like, uh, Jedi thing, Finn becoming a Jedi, I was like, okay, right, here we go. Yeah, um, this has already gone off the rails. And then it just got worse and worse and worse. Thanks to the five minutes again, Flavio. Uh, only same monitor was despondent Pyre. She was in the most disturbing healer ring and died. Yeah, she didn't survive very long. Got torn apart by uh, whatever the gold. Ooh. Oh, shit, that's cool. A 
That's a sight you don't see every day. What the hell causes something like that to even happen? <laughs> that is really cool. That's a key ship, isn't it? Destroy key ship. Narrows, I think. Oh, there's a gondola, dude. Hell yeah. I love the design of that facility as well. The gold on the red. It's cool. Saber flight. After you drop off your chocks, move into an orbit over the station. Copy. Oh, the sabers. Saber will move into an orbit above the AO. Out. Interesting. So at RB Saber Flight, this is Charlie one two seven going with Marines. Actual the Bravo Charlie. Make entry. Weapon lights on and watch those motion trackers. Damn, my balls are freezing. <laughs> oh yeah, it would be a problem if you really had some snips. <laughs> well, Ellie, I think you hurt my feelings. Hey. Eyes up. Focus. Thanks. You take point. Mount up. Going in. This is really cool, dude. Damn. What's that smell? What's that? Rank. Yeah, I can smell you from over here. Damn. Oh, burn. What the? Is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? Um, what the hell is this? Oh, what the f It's the flood. This is the flood? Hmm. Doesn't look too tough. Tough? This right here is the reason why half of Africa was completely glassed four months ago. If there is one, there may be many. One, the other. Contact! Oh. Contact! Any warning. Cutters! We're on our way! Ooh. Hearing that shit over the radio is really cool. Also, that thing over there looks like one of the terminals from Iris. That, dude, that's cool. See, walking up here and seeing that. I just love foreign architecture that's like. Oh, uh, it dwarfs you. Blood. I haven't heard good things about them in combat. Stay close to each other. I know you just want to get close to me. You can just ask. Oh, you really wish, Snips. <laughs> okay. That frozen ocean looks so sick with a Oh dude, did you actually see the key ship there? Why haven't we heard anything from Charlie team? Yeah, I'll hail him. Alpha team to Charlie team, what's your status? Over. I repeat, Charlie team, what's your status? <laughs> Nothing. It's dead. Wow, that is really inspired. That is so cool. The Halo 3 visual is still, like, dude, that just still looks so good. Like, so, so good. I love the design of that, like, gondola rail with those, like, they almost like, like, um, like butterfly wings on the side. Very cool. Alright, then what's the plan? Remember, stay together. Watch each other's backs. Remember, no Let's Russian. Move out. Damn, Cutters wasn't kidding. It is dark in here. Flashlights on. And watch your fire. Yeah, this is a pretty good, pretty good build of tension here. I'm not gonna lie, I like this. Oh, it's down, Look at that. Unfortunately, I cannot do anything that I had to restore power. 
However, doors and elevators are linked to emergency power, so they will still be operational. Oh, damn. Oh, no. <sighs> Rut row. No ammo in them? Oh, there's ammo. Okay, never mind. Okay. We'll see about that. Oh, oh, he's dead. No, Rogers. No, Rogers. Oh god, okay, well I shouldn't have done that. Oh, they got more green on them. Wait, hang on, was that Was that uh combat form firing like ranger form spikes or something? Oh god. There's a ranger form up there. Dude, those sentinels, they're like overcharged. I wonder if there's something like the AI or the systems here has been infected with the Logic Plague. So they're on the side of the Covenant, on the side of the Flood. Oh god, there's a ranger somewhere. Did I kill it? No, no, what? He's just straight up firing ranger spikes. Oh, it's a different form. Okay. It's not a regular carrier form. Oh, sorry, Marine. Okay, keep going. No, I'll take an AR, AR over the carbine. The carbine is not doing much. In fact, can I pick up their sentinel beam? Oh god. Oh, okay, for me it's the regular one. Would you look at that? It's a carrier form. I said the thing. It's an incendiary carrier form. Oh my god. These look like updated models for the flood. Look, that's, that is definitely different. Look at that. Yeah, give me one sec, guys. We good, boys. Chair stream for like two seconds. I just sliced my finger open. I think I did. <sighs> right then, anyways. Back to this. They're definitely different combat forms. At least the brute ones are. Chair stream. Average react streamer stream. That does look really cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> what the hell have we gotten into? Poor Rogers. Not to worry. You only have a few more sections. A few more sections? Only a few more. God, we're done. Game over, man. Game over. Game get over, together, man. man. We just need to get through this next section. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Oh. Oh wait, are they getting infected like Oh my god, what <laughs> That's pretty cool actually, I like that. Got some favor favor type shit in them. Right then. Onwards. Through here? My grave is not here. You're damn right it's not. You will not see another day. Oh. Oh, what? Hang on. Wait, is this the gun from um, Origins? I think it is. That's cool. The ancient weapon. Flabby, thanks to the 5x deed. Attention is uh, required elsewhere. Our fate will cross again. Again for a run wide. Hey, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you for the support, dude. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Oh, my God. Okay, hello. Uh, it has infinite ammo by the looks of it. I'll take that. Christ! How the hell did the foreigners lose, lose to the flip of this thing? Look at this thing! Rose, <laughs> thanks to two pounds. Jimmy Xperia in the flip by a must. <laughs> Christ's sake, thank you very much. <laughs> thanks to two pounds. <laughs> so if I. Will this like overheat or will it just break? Oh no, it just overheats. This is definitely the whatever that gun is from the um from Origins. The I love those dispensers, they're, they're really cool. Oh shit. Oh, okay, well I've kind of I got what I deserve there. I did jump into a horde. Parasite, you will not see another day. Down you go. Down you go. Go down this time. Oh, look at that. It's a. Uh, what is that, my chat? What is that? It's a carrier form. It's a carrier form. Skill issue. <laughs> I need to overheat this thing before I move forward. Carrier form. That ranger will not die. Good God. Jesus. Right, I need to overheat this thing. I thought the gun was hurting me then. It's that guy behind me. Dude, that, that design there looks pretty cool where the, they're like... The stomach, the thorax is like, there's like a hole in it. Let's move. Oh, is there anything back here? That can looks like we'd hide a skull or something. Okay, this thing's starting to get a bit weaker now. It's not one tapping them anymore. I'm now starting to. Oh, so when it overheats, you do lose all your shields. Right. I like the design of these rooms, though. Quite a bit. Oh, would you look at what room it is? Wait, it's the Juggernaut room. Is it going to be a Juggernaut? I feel like opening a storage tube is a really bad idea in a flicketainment facility. Oh, Christ. Oh! That Guardian Sentinel! Oh, my... Um. Oh, I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. Well, we will in about five seconds time. That looked like a Guardian Sentinel to me. Right, that's open. In the right order, okay. What the? Is that one of the ones from Halo Wars? I think it is. Oh my god. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. A 
If I don't die here, it's a goddamn miracle. No! <laughs> well, I didn't say it'd be a miracle. It's a juggernaut room from Halo 2. Where's that tank? There's a tank that spawns behind me every time. There he is. Ow. I'll tell you what, that that's a... Uh, what were they called? They're called like... Um, controller Sentinels or something? I forgot the name of them. But they're in... Um, they're in Halo Wars 1. Oh my god. This is difficult. Oh no, the fail sync has been engaged. You will be the manually override the I'll Tell you what, it's the sentinels that are destroying me more so than anything. Ow. They absolute That damage is a bit annoying, I'll be honest. They they do way too much damage to you. I'm just gonna run straight oh, up here. No, the fail sync has been engaged. You will be the manually override the locking pit in the fight spot. How am I one shot already? Right, that tank's gonna come behind me. Let me put the tank down. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that actually is the EMP one from Halo Wars. It's even got the EMP, that's really cool. They keep checking behind me. Hell, I see you there. I see you, you sneaky bastard. Yeah, that'll teach you to sit in a corner. Ow. Something else right around this corner. The stream is buffering. Wait, you guys, how is it fine now? Just use it, okay. Alright, take this until out. Ow, 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 they do a Bro, how many sentinels? Oh my god, it spawns so many sentinels. Alright, I'm just gonna rush down here, I think. No. Is he in that corner still? No, he's not. Yeah, I'm gonna get something to him, I think. The regular one. Then again, the sword is really useful for the tanks. I might just use it over the new one. This thing is actually not that powerful. It seemed more powerful at first than it actually is. Uh, there we go. Right. Oh my god, they're tanky. Holy shit. Thank you. Oh, see, this thing just melts for the most part. Got him. There we go. Okay. Yeah, regular Sentinel Beam is still king. Oh, oh, shit, it's down there. What? Hang on, what's he doing? He's like, we've got a HLG carrier form over here. We've got the most on-brand carrier form. Okay, it's a good old-fashioned regular one. No, you will not reanimate. You will not reanimate. Down. 
This nearly feels like an official campaign. I wish I could play it. Bring Halo Mods to Xbox. Yep. Yeah, I wish they would do as well. Oh my god, that's a tank with shields. Thanks for the five bucks, PG. Uh, PB, yeah, I agree. I really wish they would do. I really, really, really wish they would do. With how, like, important modding is to MCC and how much of a focus it is for MCC updates nowadays, I really think they should be doing that. Like, I don't... At one point, I thought it, MCC was, like, a finished product. But now, I don't think it is. Because they, they need to... They need to do mods on console. With how heavily they're focusing on it on PC with like every update, it's they've got to do it on console. I don't know how they do it. Um, I don't know how they'd like rate what mods would work on console and which ones wouldn't, but I think they've got to find a way with how much of a focus they're putting on modding. Another tank. Luckily, that's why we kept the sword. The sword is very OP for tanks. Oh my god. EMP Sentinel still there. I should not be using that on a tank, actually. Oh, God. Right, where are you? Jesus Christ. Dude, there's so many tanks! Look how many tank bodies there are! <laughs> oh my, don't even back to the start. Huh, okay, thank god. Ooh. Ow. I think a decent way to do it would be to make it so anyone could host a server with a mod on. Um... And then a console player could connect to that server and download the mod through that that server. So it's official. It's not like on an official server, so it's backed up uh, and it's secure. But you've got the freedom of it being like a, a user-controlled thing. Of course you do. Of course you do. Right, you will not reanimate. <laughs> I will not let you. Okay, how the hell are we going to kill this thing? Because it is... It is tanky. I can hear an infection form somewhere. I'm dead. Yeah, I wouldn't actually be against the idea of uh, paid mods on console. As long as, like, the, the the revenue share was, like, good. Like, as long as modders got, like, I'm talking about 90%. Maybe, like, maybe a bit less, like, 85, 90%. I think that'd be fine. Like, people say, like, MCC needs some kind of monetization for them to keep supporting it. If they want to do that, either do paid mods for someone on console, or let people like buy server space and like pay to rent their own servers and have their own mods on their own servers it mcc does not need microtransactions it needs like actual meaningful monetization like that that you get something that's actually worth it from i don't think optional donations would work personally i don't think there'd be enough of a push for people to to donate right where is he Dude, oh my god, it spawned so many things here. I'm just dead again. I'm dead again. I swear it's infinitely spawned in the flood as well. How tough is that shield? Jesus. Ow. Oh my god. I feel like I'm just not well equipped for this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't. 100% like the idea of paid mods. Um, 
Because like on PC you just couldn't enforce that. There's no way to enforce PID mods on PC. On console you could do, but on PC you just you just straight up couldn't. Like that's not. And then you get into the issue of like mods being free on PC and paid on console, which seems one-sided. It just I don't I don't know. I don't really know how they do it, but then again, I just know that they should do it. Oh shit! Give me that. Dude, how do I kill this thing? And it is definitely infinitely spawning sentinels. Oh my god, it's infinitely spawning everything. How the hell am I meant to bring that thing down? If I go and sword it, I'm probably just going to die, right? Like, it will just kill me. Look at it, it looks cool as hell, but yeah, insta killed. I already did activate the switch though, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe the ancient weapon does something against it? So yeah, I've definitely hit the switch. That does a disgusting amount of damage. Kill these. Christ. I'm going to try the ancient weapon. Oh, this thing's almost overheated. Hang on. Get my shield back. Right. So I have a feeling that shield recharges as well. How do I clear the room? I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing that shield recharges, right? Like, I don't think it'll be like finite. Oh, oh, hang on. Hey, hey, let's go. Right, time to not die to the flood now. I'm, I'm assuming once I've killed that, uh, the infinite spawning stops. I would assume. I wonder if I can pick his weapon up. I wonder if it's like the Guardian Sentinel where you can pick his eye up. Probably not, but it's worth a try. I can hear something somewhere. There it is. Hey. Hell yeah. Right, I'm gonna get my sword back first. Thank you. Right, time to flee. Get whatever this is, the anti-shield thing, and flee. Uh, do we... How do we get it? I'm confused. Oh, here we go. The bypass unit. Now come back out the way you came and... No, this parasite cannot be allowed to live. It cannot be far. The only area of the grave mine could be in is the other wing of the station. I will lead you. So there is a grave mine then. It's definitely a grave mine. Pass this room to the transport elevator. Oh, we are. Okay, cool. Oh, it's changed his mind. It's changed his mind. He said earlier that your grave does not lie here, I'm pretty sure. He's pissed now. These hallways are cool. I like this. The lighting's really good in them. A grave mine or the grave mine? Good question. 
Oh yeah, we've got the gondola ride to do, haven't we? Hell yeah. It's the Halo 2 gondola. Oh, it's the Halo 2 Oracle gondola. Oh god. Oh god, this is, I've just realised this is going to be horrible. So I don't have like... I, I need to preserve this ammo. <laughs> Ow. I need to get one of those sentinels to crash. What is that? It's a light. I need to get one of those sentinels to crash on here. Ow. Ow. Where is he? Where is he? Oh my god, there's like five of them. <laughs> no. One at a time. One at a time. Oh my god, there's more of this as well. No, Sentinels, focus on the... On the flood, please. Oh, I'm so dead here. Or am I? Ooh, god. Oh, this is where the other squad died. Uh, is that an ancient weapon? Yes, it is. Haha! <laughs> Got the good old fashioned Halo 1 rooms. Okay, this is not a good setup. I will drop the shotgun. Oh god. Oh no. What a need. Holy shit, what a need. No! Oh, fucking hell, he like one eated me. Rush me. Okay, I'm gonna use that instead. Dude, he, his jumping mechanics are wild. We've got a flood over here trying to warbang me. It's very satisfying bringing the sentinels down with the sentinel beam, though. Very satisfying. In fact, speaking of that, uh, where are you? Ooh. Which Halo has the best playstyle overall? For me, it's Halo 2, closely followed by Halo 3. Uh, and then, I don't know. Halo 2 and Halo 3 just clear everything else in terms of gameplay so much for me. Like, the formula was perfect in Halo 2 and Halo 3. I never wanted to change. I was very happy with how it was. It's one of the reasons why I have a very contentious relationship with Reach. Come to my location. Copy. There's a possible landing zone past some gondolas. Oh, no. Oh, there. not again. Oh, no! <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Bro, these sentinels do an absurd amount of damage. I wonder if I can just take it out of... Oh, no, 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 no. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Game crashed. Oh, for fuck's sake, the game crashed, god damn it. Wait one sec. Give me one second. I should have saved the grenade. I just see people saying this mod crashes quite a bit and I can see what they mean, what they mean now. I can never skip this intro. Can never ever skip this intro. Right then, let's try again. 
My issue with Reach's campaign is I don't think the weapon sandbox is very fun in Reach, and I don't think the enemy design is very fun either. Uh, I love the story. Uh, love the story. But I just don't Get think the I don't think the, the enemy design or the weapon weapon sandbox is very interesting in Reach. I wonder what that does. Does that just like flat out EMP you? So it looks really cool. Bring it down. Okay, we blocked it down. Hell yeah. See, the crash was just the universe trying to help us. Yeah, my, my main thing with Reach is I don't like how bullet sponge all the enemies are. Oh, this is cool. Hell yeah. I find Reach's enemies really, really bullet spongy. Uh, Reach's aesthetic, I'm, I'm, I, I like some of it a lot, and others I don't like. I really don't like Reach's elites at all. I can't stand Reach's elites actually. Um, or not, not can't stand that. That's that's a bit much. But like, I just don't. I don't compared to like Halo Three and especially Halo Two and Halo One. I just don't like how Reach's elites look. Um, everything else is fine. Oh no, the brutes, the brutes look awful as well. I don't like the brutes. Um, everything else is fine though. Uh, UNSC stuff. I don't like the assault rifle. Uh, uh, I, I see. I didn't used to like the DMR, but I do, uh, like visually. But I, I do now. Um, I don't know. I just prefer. I just prefer like Halo Two and Halo Three's aesthetics. Reach your Spartans go hard though. I still prefer Halo Three Spartans, but Reach your Spartans go very hard. Right, he's dead. Yeah, Reach's drones are cool. I love how when he shot the drones in Reach, if he headshot them, they like broke apart. That was really cool. God, this thing's about to overheat. If I shoot this again, it's probably gonna kill me. Hey, perfect. Weirdly, that was actually very easy. <laughs> Didn't die once the two Super Sentinels, but. As soon as you throw one Super Sentinel at me. It's not even the Super Sentinels that's the problem. It was all the individual Sentinels that it kept spawning. This is so cool. So hey. See, I don't think Infinite's uh, brute design was very consistent. The, the only consistent ones were Halo 2 into Halo 2 Anniversary into uh, Halo Wars 2. Okay, right. What we're we taking? Definitely rockets. Oh, I might... Okay, I'm going to go for a really... I'm going to regret this. I guarantee you in about two minutes' time, I'll be talking about how much I regret going with rockets and sword. Oh, wait. Am I hopping on? What is that? Oh, it's the ancient weapon. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Hand off bypass unit. Oh shit. This is Charlie One Two Seven. Package is out. Hell yeah. I'm definitely gonna regret this. <laughs> oh, that is very infested. God damn, this is deep down. Holy shit. Wow, so deep down we took four damage in Halo 3. That's that's a new one. See? <laughs> I already regret taking this goddamn sword rocket combo. Um Oh god, there's more. There's more. 
There's a lot more. I have to run a train with these infection forms. This takes place on a, uh, what is it, a satellite unit or a lookout unit, uh, or a communications construct for Installation 02. Which is, uh, what, what was it, Epsilon Halo, I think? I think 02, 01 is Beta, 02 is Epsilon, 03 is Gamma, 04 is Alpha, 05 is Delta, 06 is Kappa, and 07 is Zeta. Oh, I, I, see, I see what you were doing. You have me walk down there, pop him, and then pop all of these. So you know what I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Ooh. I'll just run through it. Yeah, epsilon. I thought so. A jump puzzle, dude. Halo needs more shit like this. I love jump puzzles in games. I wish Halo did this more. I like how this mod has had a few of those. No, I won't risk it. Uh, this way? That green fire looks pretty cool. This <laughs> red Jimmy is German. It's a very ominous looking dead end. This is really claustrophobic, I like this. That's like Halo 2 flood up there. In fact, this kind of reminds you of like the early pictures of like Halo 3's flood. Gifts abound to servants worthy of them. Immortality is the least. These jump puzzles go so hard. It's so sim- Oh, hello. I'm a sucker for like a really tight corridor that leads into a massive expansive like cave area like this. That's uh, so why I like that cave in the last level. All right, let's get him off there. This is very, very misty in here. Kind of reminds me of the inside of uh, the Apothecon on Revelations. <laughs> Remember me, this is some kind of drug, the good kind. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Alright, last rocket. This is so expansive. God damn. I've just had a really bad thought, actually. How the hell am I gonna kill those sentinels? Oh. With that. Hell yeah. That's how. Ow. I'm gonna regret the rocket. Oh god, okay. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh god, I forgot that thing. Yeah, uh, EMPs of shields. No, no. So I'm guessing taking rock. I'm guessing. I'm guessing there's a boss fight. I kind of wish this thing had a scope, honestly. It's pretty accurate. It's very accurate. Oh yeah, going through the what was the worm called? In gears. What was the worm called in gears two? Rift worm. That's definitely Halo 2. What the? 
Oh. Rest in peace. Kind of weird. I've never seen that before. Oh my god. Dude, I love how expansive this is. This is what I feel like Cortana was lacking in Halo 3. Nothing really felt that big. I mean, maybe that was the idea, but I feel like this has a pretty good balance of like claustrophobia and really big expansive like caverns and stuff. Now this is on the Steam Workshop. It's called New Covenant. You can see it at the top of the stream. Oh my god. Oh my oh definitely dead. Choices oh. and second chances. Rejected Okay. You will join in this raid. Yo, Green Man boss fight, baby! <laughs> Holy shit, let's go! Oh, the oh god. Uh, I really wish I'd saved those rockets now, you guys were right. Ow, ow. Oh no, not more sentinels. I'm not I need to stop pressing escape if that's gonna end up crashing the game again. So I'm guessing I shoot the tentacles. If it's anything like oh, ultimate firefight. If it's anything like Ultimate Firefight, then I gotta shoot the tentacles. Oh god. Oh Christ. I'm guessing that fog's gonna hurt me. No, but it's gonna absolutely murder my frame rate. <laughs> okay, won't we walk into that fog again? A fate worse than a uh, worse than death, low frame rate. Where's that sentinel? Oh. Alright, one one tentacle down. This is a really cool arena as well. Imagine if the low FPS in the gas was an intentional feature. <laughs> I doubt it is, but if it was, I'd kind of tip it a little bit. I'm, trust me, I'm trying. I forgot what your name was, Monitor, but I'm trying. In fact, did that Monitor ever give us his name? Ow. This mod is called New Covenant. See, this is where we save the sword. Gotta be careful this doesn't overheat. Another tentacle down. My god, he does not want to die. The infection form survived as well. There we go. Not anymore, I didn't. Oh god. Oh, he spawned right in front of us. How many more shots left? Can't be many. Alright, we got the overheating early. Tentacle down. Oh god, okay, well there's the actual fucking grave mind. <laughs> oh boy, hello. Um I'm pretty sure that is the same model from uh Ultimate Firefight. Shoot it in the mouth. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Oh my god, the grave mine is animated. <laughs> oh, this is this is gonna be some Metal Gear Rising type shit right here. Brace yourselves.
That's cool. Did he just spit out pure monster energy? It did look like that, didn't it? Good to see you in one piece. Let's get the hell out of here. That unequivocally makes Arbiter more badass than Chief then. We have reports the evacuation of Andesia is starting soon. I suggest we prepare immediately to assist. Um, we have one we can do. That's a really cool shot. Four twenty. Who's this traitor? How much longer? More damage was done during the sabotage than first thought. The weapon systems are overloaded and damaged the ship's best navigation systems. Your crew's treason was a key part in this mission. But if your crew can't be ready, we will be ready in time for the test. I assure you. Okay. Be. Uh. Oh, okay. Yo, Ven, thank you for the dinner, dude. Thank you very much, man. I'll get to that in one sec. Look who it is. You summoned me, noble warrior. Ah, yes. You have done well under Tartarus' wing. But I'm afraid he has failed in his given task. Not to return and ascend with the rest of us. I now name you Warlord of the Covenant and assign a holy quest to you. We have been given a new gift from the great oh. Pius. The okay. location of a shield. One that will protect us and ensure our deliverance into the great journey. It is my honor to serve you, noble warrior. That's cool that they're talking to him when he's on the, the uh, key ship with them. There you will regain my signal and protect me, us, from my enemies. Now go. It will be done. Huh. Damn, where's that? Wait, have they gone back to the Ark? Ah. I see. I like how this cutscene implies that Chief and Arbiter didn't teabag Truth's body into the platform. Because to me, that's the canonical way that it happened. That was really good. So I'm guessing there's more then. There's more to come. It's not out yet. That was really good though. I enjoyed that. Uh, I enjoyed that quite a lot actually. Chad, what are your thoughts? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so you know what that means now, chat? It's time to play Last Resort, but it's infected. Let me, uh, real quick when it launches. Let's 
Yeah, I like how that implies that um, Chief and Obi didn't teabag uh, Truth under the platform. <clears throat> they brought back Truth like Disney brought back. Not quite. Okay. Right then, now fellas. The time has come. Oh, whoops. Give me one sec. Uh, check the screen. There we go. Now, we're about to play Zombies if it was in Halo 3. I'm very curious about this. So, me and Lex were originally going to play this for a video. But, uh, here we go. Last Resort. Literally converted into a Zombies map. I'm really excited for this. Me and Lex were going to play this, but then we couldn't because of all the issues of Black Ops 3. Um... But here we go. I I still need to watch that in. You know what though? I've actually quite a few people say that I need to look into Mech Warrior for lore videos. Um I had a lot of people say that recently. So I need to watch it. Oh shit. I don't know if there are any healing weapons in this or not. But this is, this feels weird. Moving around last resort in zombies feels very weird. Is the stream lagging a little bit, fellas? So my end, it looks like it's dropping frames. It looks good. Okay, see. Oh, beautiful. Just on my end. All good. No lag. That's exactly what I like to hear. Right then. This feels weird. Literally last resort. In... <laughs> Assuming it's fine. Good. Good, 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 good. No, this is not official. Right, which are we going to go then? Weird music as well. Oh, Ven, shit, I miss your... I miss your... No, no, my bad, bro. Uh, give me one sec. Some credits, because why not? Also, love more for Halo Flood content. The mod scene is creating more interesting content than the actual developers. It's kind of sad and fun at the same time. Also, thanks for the last one. Hey, appreciate it, man. I, thank you for the 20 bomb, dude. That's very generous. It's, uh, it's very cool seeing what the modding scene can make. Um... Very, very cool. I hope we get more stuff like New Covenant, honestly. More like full-on custom campaigns. Because that, uh... That was very, very cool. I enjoyed that. And with the 10-bomb as well. Is that linked to the Zombies map or is it private? Because I haven't seen it on the workshop. And also give the Zombies map. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Uh, if, you, if you literally just search Last Resort on the workshop, you'll find it. Okay, can we go up the stairs? Or is there only one way to go? Oh, we can actually... Oh, oh, shit. So power's that way. I didn't even see this. Okay, we need to go somewhere. Uh, ooh. Ah, you know what? I'll go to the good old M1 Garand on the beaches of Last Resort. God, that is loud. Gotta give the map lore as I go. <laughs> Let me turn the audio down real quick, because that is very, very loud. Right. Right, so let's move. Let's go towards power. In fact, no, we're, we're going to go the way that, like, visitors to the last resort would go. We're going to go through the beach. Can we go this way? Yeah, we can. Let's go. So, the, well, let, you know what? There's a downed uh, pelican there. Let's just pretend that's a pelican. It's a skull? Which skull is it? Or is it just a skull? Just a skull. Okay. The map does have an easter egg. I know it's got an easter egg. Uh, I don't know what you get from it. But I know it does have one.
Right. Let's keep moving. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, power's, power's in uh, the sniper room. Oh, we gotta get an M8. It's, dude, it's a Halo map. We need a three-shot burst weapon. We need a three-shot burst weapon. It would only be uh, only be right. Right. M8, please. Thank you. I won't hit the nuke. Which card is everyone playing right now? Honestly, I don't even know. I think it's kind of split. Right, turn power on. <laughs> oh, there's a part for something there. I don't know what that was. Some kind of buildable. Oh, damn it. The, the crash pelican is blocking the turbine. Buildable grab hammer, now that'd be cool. That'd be a sick buildable, honestly. Oh, ow. Ow. Right. I don't know what that build is, buildable is going to be, but we need to... We need to build it. I did see one map. Um... It was like a regular map. It wasn't like a Halo feed map at all. But it had like a brute plasma rifle on it and you could pack a punch it. I don't know if this map has that, but it would be cool if it did. A Scarab gun would be very good for a buildable. I agree, or for an Easter egg gun. Grab hammer, grab hammer for a buildable. Scarab for a uh, uh, Easter egg. Okay, keep moving. I think the map is literally just called Last Resort. Right, I don't know if there are any healing weapons in here. Well, last time I saw this thing. Oh, it's called the DMR. <laughs> but last time I checked, this is not in a. Uh, this is not in Halo. <laughs> last time I checked. I think these are infinite warfare weapons. There's a shade tech there. That scope is awful. I do not like that at all. I need to hit the box again. Oh, jug. Okay, I need to get jug first. One of the rebels in the Halo TV show had that gun. <laughs> True. I'm not gonna lie, right? I will. I will still defend this. I thought the AK in Halo was actually kind of cool. I like. See, I love it when Halo grounds itself in the real world, and that felt like a, a, a little bit of that. I didn't think that was that bad. I mean, obviously, like when they kept doing it over and over and over again, and like there were more fucking modern weapons than there were Halo weapons. Like, yeah, that's too much. But like, as a, a one-time thing, I actually thought it was kind of cool. I didn't hate it. This is literally just an M1 gram of the scope. Although it has the M14 rear sights. Interesting. See, I loved it, I loved it in um, Shadows of Reach as well, where I forgot what his name was. There was that colonel that had a desert eagle. I just thought it was kind of cool. It's just different. Now, is it? Oh, I'm guessing the buildable is the, the shield. The, the Eisendrak rocket shield. Dude, imagine the dog round. It just grunts. To be honest, I don't really feel like I need to make a crawl to explore. I feel like we can explore just fine. Uh, in regular rounds. And if I do, right, let's hit the box again. What 
What the? Oh, an LMG. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, you can... I'm so used to dropping down there. Oh, there's something down there. You can go down there. There's nothing down there, though. Okay, over to rockets. <laughs> the fusion coil was a Nova 6. I'll tell you what, can I shoot these? No. No, I can't. Maybe they're similar to the Easter egg. It wouldn't surprise me if they were linked to the Easter egg. God, this thing sounds really cool, actually. <laughs> Hidden for new is if they're looking pretty different. Yeah, fight. Max ammo. Don't mind if I. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Almost panicked my way into an early death then. No! Oh, shit. Well, I don't really need it, to be honest, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, oh, look at... Did you look at that? Stream frozen. Oh, shit. Hang on. I was getting lag on my end as well. Uh, how are we? Are we good? We good, guys? Tell you what, let me. Uh, I'm gonna put it in windowed, and I'm gonna drop the quality down to 1080p. That could be why. Transform. Flip to screen. Still frozen. Uh, can you guys hear me? It should be it should be fine now. It should be fine now. Are we good? It's I'm getting no drop frames on my much better. Okay, cool. Better. Fixed. Cool. Okay, I'll just play the game in window mode, then that's fine. Bit weird, but I can get used to it. Right, what the hell is that? The Raven. NV4, that's like the M4. I can hear Pack. Where's Pack? Oh, there it is. This door is open magically. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a soul box or something I've got to fill up. Uh, right. Oh, soul box. A crate? A soul crate? Nope. Oh, oh, the schools. See, that makes sense. Yeah, these are all infinite warfare weapons. I don't know how many, I don't know how many kills that skull needs. That is a big skull. Holy shit! That's a goddamn grave mine skull. Still going. Right. This mod has more environments than that. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that weapon pack for BO3. I've been looking at that for ages, but it's just for multiplayer. It's not for zombies, uh, unfortunately. I wish it was from multiplayer uh, for zombies as well, because I would have I would have done something with it in a video if it was. Dude, okay, there we go, free perk. Oh, beautiful double tap. I'll take that. Right, let's go fill that soul box up in this form. It was so weird, you know, looking at the, the big wheel up there, being here where I'd normally be if I was getting spawn trapped. But I'm in the zombies. Did 
new Halo game, imagine. Obviously, Skull here. Perfect. This thing sounds very cool. Although, I do wish this had Halo weapons. I don't know how possible it would be for somebody to port those existing Halo weapons in BO3 over to the zombies, but I would love somebody to do it. I know I've seen a few maps with Halo 1 Magnums, and I've seen a few maps with uh, Energy Swords, and there was that one map with the Plasma Rifle as well. Buff pools carbine, imagine. That might be one of the most unfun weapons of all time, the, the pools carbine. I just wish they'd give us the plasma rifle again. My god. This school's a real like, dude, like how big that skull is. Okay, death machine. I don't really want death machine, but I guess. I can get slight hammer or something. Here. Yeah, it just for me the pool scar just feels really, really, really inconsistent. Like sometimes the bolts track perfectly and I can laser people with it. And then other times, it just feels like the bolts don't want to... Ooh, space AK. Speaking of AKs in Halo, space AK. Um, and then other times, it just feels like the bolts don't want to track at all. Which one was the plasma speed? Was that the three-shot burst repeater? I think it was, wasn't it? Stalk rifle was like fine. I don't know. I don't. I don't think many of Infinite's new weapons are that interesting. To be honest with you, the Ravage is cool, but it's like shit. Uh, what else is the Pool Carbine? Don't like. Stalk is fine. It's not great. It's fine. Uh, what else is there? I don't even remember. I would have rather them just put like a beam rifle and a carbine in over the stalker rifle. Yeah, this is a BO3 map. I wonder if dogs have souls for this. Come on, dude. Oh, they do. Let's go. Uh, yeah, this AK is 30 rounds. A lot of Infinite Warfare's weapons were actually pretty, pretty good looking, I thought. This is Black Ops 3, but it's last resort. Can we go into the water? No. I thought it was a viable uh, barrier then. What do you guys feel about... Uh, about swimming or water combat in Halo. Because it's something I've been thinking about recently and I really, really, really would like him to do it. I think swimming and like boats and stuff would be really sick. Yeah, this if this is MCC, this would be wild. It's getting a bit tight there. Alright, time to line up for me. Fill the soul box, Marines. A magic door has opened. Oh boy, it gave me dead shot, which is like literally pointless on keyboard and mouse. <laughs> Submarine combat, that'd be wild in Halo. Can I go up there? No, I can't. Hey, Coat, thanks for the $2, dude. Hope all is well. Keep it the good foundation. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. All is well indeed. Thank you very much, dude. What's that? The Rack 9. Oh, we can't go up to Camp Froben. Or Camp... Oh, we can. 
Alright, barrier. I like how they put the they put the intervention where Snipe spawns. Uh right. We didn't go up here yet. Oh yeah, it's just a rocket shield. The buildable is just a rocket shield by the looks of it. Okay, I'm guessing that's pack a punch is opened. Can I open that? Oh, I can. Is it Pack-a-Punch? Yes, Pack's open. Right, let's, uh, oh, there's a Bible ending as well. I feel like we have to go for the Bible ending. Give me the space AK. All right, here we go, we have the Halo AK. 35k for the Bible ending should not be hard. In fact, that should be very easy. Might even camp here, to be honest with you. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. There is a song Easter egg. Uh... But I don't know. Have a look. Can the flood swim? Ah? Uh, I think technically, technically they can do, yeah. I mean, they retain the knowledge of the, the host. So I assume they can. Right. There's a song Easter egg we, we're going to go activate. I'm guessing it's going to be a Halo song. It's probably going to be Blow Me Away. So I'm going to have to be careful not to get copyrighted. I mean, I can just mute it once the stream's over. If it is, blow me away, that is. I remember back in the day, I don't know if any of you guys ever played um, World at War custom zombies maps, but I swear to God, like, every custom zombies map in World at War always had a song box where you could play Blow Me Away. <laughs> it was like every single one. Oh, yeah, it could be super magical, actually. That'd be very fitting if it was Siege of Magical. Right, let me have a look. Uh, near the Soul Skull on the beach, behind the dilapidated wall. So, what actually is the... Oh, there's just Teddy. Okay, I'm guessing we activated it. Yeah, you can just download this. Third weapon or second pack. I might just go for the Bible ending, honestly. Uh, yeah, I think I might just go for the Bible ending. And of course, the song Easter egg. In a chair on the catwalk and resting on a crate close to the indoor soul skull. Right, I'm taking bets now, chap. Oh, rocket shield. What do you think the, what do you think the song is going to be? Oh, that'll be. I reckon either standard Halo theme, me all near mix, or blow me away. Oh my god, Max Lamo's like, oh shit. There's a nuke there. Oh god. No shit. <laughs> okay, now I kind of need that nuke. The entire Halo 4 RST, I repeat. No! <laughs> Please, no. Okay. I've got, to be safe. I've got to be careful now. To be honest, I might not even get double tap. So it makes it... You get less points to double tap because you kill stuff too fast. So I'm getting a ton of points without double tap. Get jug. And then on the catwalk. There's a lot of catwalks in the last resort. Is it this catwalk? 
mounted on a chair. Oh, I see it. Right. What are we thinking for the for the Easter egg song? What is this? Chat, what is this? What Halo theme is this? It's some rendition of the Halo theme. What is this? This is not what I expected. What the fuck am I listening to? It must be a custom song, yeah. Right, so this song has been through about four different genres in the first minute of it. What the f- It's like Doom now. That's- Jeez, dude, I feel like I'm in a John Wick fight scene. I feel like I'm in a John Wick fight scene. Jesus Christ. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Holy shit, where are, where are the dogs? <laughs> this is a bit like Demon Halo Mix. I mean, I'm not going to say it's bad. This is uh, technically Black Ops 3. Also, how loud is it for you guys? Because I don't know if you can tell, but I'm shouting. This is so loud for me. <laughs> that's, see, that's Halo. <laughs> that's definitely Halo. That's Halo as well. This is like 17 different genres mixed together. <laughs> it's like going to trance now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to take it all in right now. I feel like all my senses are getting overloaded. Jersey Shore Club rendition of the Halo theme. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See, what would have been a very on brand song to put in was Last Resort by Papa Roach. God, this song doesn't end either, does it? Christ. Halo workout mix on steroids. Hello. You haven't been down here yet. Oh yeah, we have. See, that's Doom, right? Tell them I'm not going crazy. But that's Doom. Or at least it sounds very Doom. Oh, that saved me. <laughs> this is definitely Doom. I've not heard falling reverse. I need to turn the sound out. This is so loud. This is like legitimately deafening. There we go. See, that's Halo again. <laughs> I 
That looks like a fucking World War II landing craft, like a hovercraft or something. Well, that, that is absolutely not the song any of us predicted, but it's something. Oh, I need that double points. That'll make this so much easier. I don't think I can get to it though. Or can I? Yes, I can. Okay, the rocket shield actually works at least. It does what it's supposed to do. Almost got the Bible ending. 35k we need for this. There we go. And the incessant zombie games. It's a doomified version of the Halo theme by Jeffrey Day. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's not far for Halo 4, so. I don't even need that. I do not need to risk my life for that. Right, push. Get that. We can go now. Time to buy our way out the map. Oh, oh, it's a barrier. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. The shield saved us. No, it didn't. Shit. Okay, right. We have to make it there without... Is that Bible? I really hope that's Bible. If that's not Bible, we're screwed. Please be Bible. Yes. Okay, that got a bit dicey towards the end there, but we're good. We're good. Something up there. Nope. Oh shit, I haven't enough... <laughs> I haven't got enough points now. There we go. Now we can end it. Let's go! Right, will it play Halo music when we buy the ending? Probably not. No, what? That's a little bit like the music that plays. Uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called now. It plays when. Uh... Oh, where is it? It's in Halo 3, that plays. It might be when you're escaping uh, High Charity when it's blowing up. Is it Halo 2? Oh, oh, oh it's um, falling, isn't it? When you... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, like, it's that as well. There's a version of that that plays in Halo 3, though, for sure. Right then. So, thoughts on that chat? Give me your thoughts. Poor oh, Hogren, imagine that in Black Ops 3. That would be, that would probably look awful. That was cool, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was all right. I mean, it's an old map. Um, just need, yeah, just need healer weapons. I agree. Nacked, I, oh, nah, not today. Not today. <sighs> Needs a sword, I agree. The sword would be very cool. I'd love a sword in that. Sword, magnum, plasma rifle, rockets. That we can pack a punch as well. That'd be sick. I, I'm kind of surprised no one has made a Halo map like that on the zombies. Uh, I thought somebody would have made a map like that for zombies by now with custom mod tools. There's, an there's another one as well that's wizard. Uh, I don't know if it's got a picture. It's just Wizard from Halo 1. Let's have a look at it real quick. I'm not going to play it, but I just want to have a quick look at it. 
So this is a Halo 1 map. Turned to a zombie thing. Made it around 31 and knacked. Felt so powerful. I know that feeling. Watch this map not even load. Oh. Okay, it's very simple. It's literally just wizard. <laughs> with pack a punch in the middle. I spawned with a Mauser for some reason as well. Just something so weird about seeing like an actual Halo map in zombies. Very weird. Right, chat. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. Uh, and then we'll start the next part of the stream. So, chat. Right. Okay, I'm going to pose you guys... I'm going to pose you guys a question. Which Halo map and or level do you think would be best as a zombie map? Map or level, right? Okay, right. We're into the bathroom. I expect answers in the chat when I come back. BRB. Forge world? I don't know how that'd work. <laughs> I think outskirts would work pretty well. Share stream. Average react stream would be like. Lockout would be a good one. Yeah, I see, I think lockout would be sick for that. I can't believe nobody has ported over yet, like, um, like flood models for the zombies, halo weapons for zombies, and like halo maps like that. Like, it'd be so sick if there was, like, a... I, I'd love the idea of, like, Lockout turned into a map. Like, a zombies map. Wouldn't that be sick? I'd love that. Cool, thanks to the 5 bucks, dude. Would you pay full price for a Halo 3 remaster with Halo 2-type cutscenes? At this point, all it's all I want. I think it would rejuvenate the franchise. Yeah, I, I'd pay full price for that happily. I would definitely pay full price for that. I'd have no issue. Um, it's just how it would be done is the issue. Uh, I don't know. It'd be kind of... They could fuck up a Halo 3 remaster so easily. Like, it would be so easy to mess it up. No, Infinite Story is uh, definitely not finished yet. I agree. I agree. Okay then, my friends, it's time to start the sponsored part of this stream uh, for the last hour. <laughs> I'm not going to read it, man. Just <laughs> a, glimpse of, a glimpse of chat, I just read the most cursed message. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I took like one cursory glance to the side of my, my screen to see chat. And the first thing I see is like the most cursed message. 
Oh my god. Uh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh no, I see it. Yep, yep, yep. For the sake of not getting demonetized, I won't be reading it out loud, but I'm sure you can all see it. I'm sure it's uh, pretty easy to see. Right, we're going to start the sponsor section of this stream for the last hour. Um, we've been playing Call of Dragons, which is a strategy game. Uh, you can see Nightbot has been posting the link to download it through my link if you want to try it. You can also do, I believe, slash, uh, is it this? Nope. Is it that? Nope. Okay, apparently it's not. Apparently it's neither. Give me one sec. And I will, uh... Oh, there we go. I think that did it. Look at me. Sponsor. Hell yeah. This is uh, what keeps the, the boat afloat, so to speak. So, if you want to download the Call of Dragons through my link, there's a link in the description, I believe. There should be. Uh, there should be. Did it not update? It turns out I didn't update. Let me, uh... There we go. Okay. There should be now. Uh, I don't know why they didn't update, update earlier. So, let's, uh, let's hop in. I actually started playing a little bit uh, before stream. And I'm going to enjoy myself. Let's play. I feel like most like Halo levels or like Halo areas would be cool as a zombie map. I just want someone to do that. I really genuinely can't believe with how much crossover there is between Halo. Oh my God, that's loud. Oh, my ears. My ears. Give me one sec, chat. <laughs> Give me one sec. Uh, right. One sec, chat. Nope, I've got the wrong source again. I'm, as you can see, a professional streamer. I'm a very professional streamer. I'm good at this. I'm really good. There we go. Right, let me turn the sound down first real quick. Right, my ears, they work again. Thank God, they work. <laughs> Right then. Give me one sec. Right then. So uh, let's. I think am I sure? Am I sure about that? Uh, maybe I might be a professional streamer. There's definitely only a reason that I stream like once a month at most. You don't hear anything. Uh, you should do. Audio's been picked up on a... Yeah, you should do. Blue, thanks for five bucks, dude. <laughs> Hidden ecstasy, I'm at work right now, so I can't watch it. Do you plan on archiving? Yes, this stream will be archived. You can, it'll, be, it'll be public on my channel, so you can go back and watch it whenever you want. Right. So, let's, uh, let's play. So... Call of Dragons is like a strategy game. Um, you basically control a city here. As you can see, I've chosen the uh, the Orc race. Now, normally, when I play any game like this, I don't know why, I always gravitate towards, like, elves or, like, things that have got range and bows. But you know what? I thought today I'd try something a little bit different. Uh, your strength intrigues me. We should join someone. Oh, someone invite me to that. I've got Emperor Lincoln invite me to their, their alliance. My strength intrigues him. Yeah, you know what? Let's join. My lord, you have joined an alliance. This dude's animated. This is our first step towards fighting back against the darkness. Hell yeah. Allow me to explain a little more about how alliances work. Go for it. Okay, so Emperor Lincoln is the leader. 
Oh my god, okay, they are that juiced. That juiced. Together with other Alliance member cities is the only way to fight the cup, my lord. Please follow me to the loop. Oh, we get to meet him. We're gonna meet him. Oh god, dude, his castle is gonna look absolutely wild compared to mine. Tap the arrow <laughs> hey, button in the upper left corner and select relocate to move your city to a location. Oh, right, so okay, let's uh. Relocate. Let's uh, let's pack up the entire city and bring it here. That's cool. So if we get attacked, they can come in and help. And by the power of magic, my entire city is removed without a single bit of harm. See, we've got two members of Orc Gang here. Uh, a little bit like Cash Clan. It's it's a, it's. I've not played a game like this before. It's quite open world. Like there's a lot of exploration in it. It's like a little bit of 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 like some rival games, but there's like it's very different. You'll see. We'll get into combat soon. Uh, right, let me get into my city. I gotta build some units first. Uh, in fact, collect my wood. Send my scouts out on a mission. So I have to send my scouts out on a mission to basically find out where all the enemy camps are near me. Uh, and I suppose we're going to go all the no way time. down there. That's quite far away. Uh, this is, as you can see, not an area that I've explored. The map is, like, genuinely huge. Like, Jesus. I did not even realize the map was that big. The map's massive. And theoretically, you can explore all of it. Um, I don't know how long it would take, but you could definitely explore all of it. It would take a long time. Uh, but we got to arm up first. So... I think one of our one of our lightning members is attacking right now. Let me real quick turn down the sound still. You know what? I've been streaming. Oh, well, I've not been streaming loads uh, at all. But the few times that I do stream, audio is always a thing that that messes me up. New supplies delivered. Ooh, what's he found? A research time skip. I don't mind if I do. Oh my god, I, that is way too far away. There's no way he's going to explore that far. I guess he didn't need to. This game is Call of Dragons. You can download it if you do uh, exclamation mark COD in chat. Uh, or hit the link in the description. And you can download the game through my link and start playing today. Right, uh, as I was saying before, we need to get some units. Uh, Axemen? Sure. Spearmen as well? Sure. And because I've done a lot of uh, a lot of playing already, I've got a lot of stuff to upgrade. It's uh yeah, exclamation mark COD. Um I, Ian, my, my Twitch streams are like very sporadic. I'll do it whenever I feel like it, but I'd never commit to like a I'd never commit oh, whoops so I'd never commit to like a time um or anything like that for it, like a specific time or schedule or anything like that. I just like, I like to do it when I want to do it. Um, I, I might stream tomorrow because there's a Halo event on. Um, there's the latest HTS event on and I might stream tomorrow night. It depends how busy I am tomorrow. Because uh, I'm, I'm trying to grind out a video before that Arbiter book comes out next week. So I've got another video ready to go after that. Right, we don't need to agree to that yet. Um... Tell you what, I've actually not done the campaign yet. Let's have a look at the campaign. Hell yeah, Feed. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm actually not in my own clan right now. I joined someone else's clan. Um, but if you let me know your name and game, I can try and invite. So, defeat all enemies. I have three heroes right now, but this guy's the only one that can be taken out to fight. So, here we go. Lead the way. So this is another... I think this is a... Oh, no, it's campaign. So it's, this is AI. Yeah, he's getting bad. Uh-oh. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty equal right now. In fact, I think he might win. Uh-oh. Unless my spec does more. 
It's not looking good for us, bros. Okay, it is not looking good for us. I think my hero might be dead. <laughs> I think I should level him up a little bit more before I go into the campaign. Yep, he's dead. Rest in peace. Okay, I will not retry that yet because he is not high enough level. Right, I need to heal him up. Oh, no, he doesn't need healing. He's already been healed. Sweet. Great our scout post. You get so many rewards in this game for doing stuff as well. You're throwing them at me. Right, is there anything going on in the Alliance? 129. Is that, are they units? Good lord. Good lord. That's a lot of units. This isn't a lot of Halo 3. We did the Halo 3 section. We did about four hours of Halo 3, if not more than that. Pretty much uh, three hours, maybe, of Halo 3? Played a whole campaign. Which I gotta say was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. Right, I'll leave those to uh, the train. How do I level them up? Oh my god, okay. There's a big difference in the high level ones and my, my spearmen. Good god. Okay, how much is the foundry? Oh, nah, let's wait. Let's, uh, let's put down what's in the line center. Let's them help us. You know what? Let's get carried by our alliance. <laughs> Halo 3 is very different. <laughs> Any more cursed Halo videos in the works? Um, I'm not sure because cursed Halo is really weird. Cursed Halo videos, they either perform, they go through periods of performing really well and then really bad. There's like no in between. They'll either get like 200 to 300k views. Or they'll like barely break 30k. I don't I, I don't understand how those videos work. Um Next time there's a major update for Cursed Halo, I will um I will make a video on it when there's a major update for it. Or like a new one. Uh like curse if someone does like cursed reach or something, I'll I'll make a video on that. Uh I would still like to get Marty in for one at some point. Videos basically were like frags. In yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Right, how can the Alliance help me? Okay, well, I'm helping them. So, I would expect they would help me. Yeah, you, that, Kameza, that, that literally never goes away. All right, I've got friends with like 5 million subs who still have that exact same thing. Like, it just doesn't go away. Um, It just... It's just part of the game. You just have to be, with YouTube, you just have to be used to like, peaks and troughs. For every peak, there's a trough, and for every trough, there's a peak. It's just, it's the way it works. Ooh, where's my, uh, I have a hero somewhere. I think he's, like, he's stationed to the wall. Or not. I've got a hero somewhere with, there's like an angel. I want to give that to you. Oh, they can... Oh, my God. They're speeding everything up. Okay. Sweet. I will not say no to that. <laughs> I love when the orcs said it's orcing time. <laughs> well, I thought some Black Ops 2. I actually only just played Black Ops 2's campaign for the first time. A daily, a daily draw. What are we going to get? Oh, a magic bomb. Right. Let me give it to him again. Um, I only just played Black Ops 2 campaign for the first time, uh, and I loved it. I don't know why it took me nine years, no, 11 years, uh, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Same as a lot of lore as well. In fact, wait, can we watch cutscene? I think we can watch cutscenes and get rewards for it. 
After the night of Burning Star, speculation regarding the origin of Mana Stone's power abounds. In order to test Ogren's theories, we have set off on a journey to seek the truth. I'd love a curse Halo 2 as well. I know he's started doing something with Halo 2. I'm going to have to speak to you regarding the strange stone you found that was being used to cast curses. My lord, the stone you gave me is filled with a powerful dark energy. Is it really? Our wisest shamans and most ancient legends can offer nothing to reveal its secrets. Didn't um, Inferno push do something with like Dark Souls in Halo 2? Didn't he like... It was either coagulation or Mountain Blood Gulch that he poured into Dark Souls. <laughs> And he had all the all the bosses running around on Blood Gooch or coagulation. I think he's done something with Halo 2. Or he's, he, he's posted well something. Without hearing about it these days. I've heard people call it Manastone. The Mana Stone. Comes from Yagastone. Oh, just noticed my camera's not on, is it? Stars fall in Whoops. Flames, Mana Stone shall rise. Whoops. Hang on. I just realized. Uh... There we go. I just realized my camera's not there. God damn it. <laughs> First, Tamaris gets covered in that creepy mist. And now this stuff shows up. Oh, everyone's scared to bits. There is a lot of green you know, fog. Stuff I will say. Chief. Just a moment. Take a look at this. The light emitted by the Mana Stone brightens and fades. This black mist within Mana Stone is a manifestation of its evil energies. Thank you, Nova. It's going to be good. Do you this is actually Halo 2's first DLC. Counted outside the city, the Darklings had brought it under their control through some kind of ritual. I'm certain that the power that they relied on was exactly the same as the power within this stone. You missed quite a bit angry, but the stream is going to be public on my channel Poor forever, so you can go watch it. Poor thing was lying on the floor. Poor bear. Shaking its head over and over again, like it had lost its mind. If hey, thank you, Forgotten. Glad you enjoyed it. We need to destroy it immediately. The ritual we witnessed was not... An isolated incident. Yeah, we're actually playing this brutes, by the way, guys. This is actually the uh, the early law of the banished. Who knows how many more of them are happening as we speak? If we can purify Mana Stone rather than destroy it, but that's right. Let's weaponize the stone, then. The first thing about Mana Stone. Where do we even start? If Mana Stone has indeed <laughs> been corrupted, it must have a pure natural state. Except for the black mist inside it, Mana Stone looks fair. Let's weaponize it then. Pair samples, dragon glass. Huh? Someone made a dagger out of it. Hmm. It was so light, I reckon it'd float if you threw it in the water. This is like prehistoric Doizak. That stuff's expensive, and if you need it for experiments, how much do you think you'll need, Ogren? It ain't gonna come cheap. Money is no object. Everything you need, you'll find it at Silver Star Bazaar. But the okay. of Burning Stars has left the trade routes in a pretty sorry state. It's kind of cool, actually. If you click it, underline something, if you click it, it tells you what it is. Someone who does a lot of videos about, like, in, obviously intricate lore details, but that's actually a really cool feature. I'm not gonna lie. It makes it a lot easier to understand. Because when, when games get quite deep and they start quoting, like, a thousand different things that are specific to that universe, it's quite hard to, like, to keep track of it. But having that is actually pretty useful. Uh, I didn't Flavio. Uh, I the, I made sure my first playthrough was like very content light. So I just wanted to enjoy it as like a fan first and then do content after. I don't know if they'll have Dragon Glass at the bazaar or if there will even be a bazaar left. Let's have a look. Please allow me to. Okay. So. We have to go over there to find the bazaar. Which is actually not too far away. The real question is, how do we get there? I did record my uh, reaction to the intro. 
for Infinite when we first played it, but I wasn't allowed to upload it um, for like a certain period of time. And then I just never got around to uploading it because I didn't have enough time. Uh, like, I'm sure you guys can remember, but I literally did daily uploads for like a month and a half or mostly daily uploads for a month and a half. Um, and I just did not have a time, I have any time to upload it. I didn't find a free day. <laughs> so the boost will like have to nuke themselves back to the Stone Age. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Can we upgrade the, level, the hall to level 5 yet? Yes, we can. Hell yeah. And you know what? I'm going to speed it up. I have, I think... Okay, no, I don't. I have a... Uh, two of these. Hell yeah. Have the whole GCUR thing with regarding fan content, but do you know how likely they are to shoot down fan games? Uh, I know with Halo, they've never shot down a fan. I think the only fan thing they shot down with Halo, besides El Dorito, of course, was um, a mod for an RTS in, like, 2006, which was getting... It was like a Halo mod for a different RTS, and it was it, it was getting big right before they were going to announce Halo Wars, so they, they shut it down. But other than that, like, with Halo, it, Halo's never really had many issues with that. Obviously, Call of Duty have major issues with it, because um, Activision are... Um, you know, but... Hello, Connor. Welcome, dude. Right, let's explore some more. Can we go... Uh, hang on. Where are we? Let me go back to my base. Ooh. This guy's given a village. Let's see what this village is. Oh my god, that's really far away. <laughs> Belong to the lead of order. It is reverence day in the village, and according to the teachings of a god of light, it is a day for caring for others. After the night of burning stars, this tradition was spread far and wide under the orders of King Cyrus. Uh, what should we do? Let's tell them how to kill the, the Darklings. Oh, they thanked us and let us eat with them. How kind. Free food. Free food, baby. Right, what else can we do? Uh, we found no observatories, but we found a camp. Let's go visit that camp. Oh, hell yeah. I'll take that. I actually played a few years ago. If that was a video I meant, <laughs> I just thought about a video that I said I was going to make like four years ago and never got around to. Uh, I remember when I played XCOM a few years ago and just like fully overhauled it with Halo mods. Oh, dude, it looks so sick. I had like the entirety of Noble Team going around with like suppressed DMRs and shit. It's really cool. Really cool. Uh, okay, let's upgrade the centaur post. Okay, we can't yet. I'm going to wait for that to finish. Oh boy, one free draw. Better than never. Yeah, I might make it at some point. Uh, you never know. I might make it at some point. It was really fun. And it felt like Halo as well. Like, it, it genuinely felt like it was Halo. Right. Let's go back. Uh, okay. I need to remember how to take an army out. So I want to go fight. Here he is. Here's that hero I was looking for. I'm not sure where he is, though. What is this? What the? Okay, that looks bougie. That does not look like the kind of thing an orc would make. That does. <coughs> You're saucy. <laughs> nice, US ranked everything. Got saucy Jack. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Right, can I... Ooh, a Sears cancel. That, I do not have yet. Let's build that. Uh, let's build that here. A city can't develop without technological progress. Technology brings us closer to eternity. It does indeed, Mr. Brute. 
The I agree. The council contains the wisdom of our wisest thinkers. You can research technologies here. Right, what can we get? Oh my god, there's a whole skill tree. Holy. There's a whole skill tree. I did not realize this was a thing. Gather ore in a field, yes. What's that? Uh, increases gold production, increases lumber production. Gold gather speed. Ah, right, okay. And this is combat stuff. Attack. Uh, okay, infantry unit. Inventory we're using a lot of, uh, so, okay, we'll wait. Now, that is a new building. That I have not got yet. This game does have a lot of lore, actually. Um, I was reading quite a lot of it when I was, when I was picking my factions. There's, there's three factions in this game. Uh, there's the, let me real quick check what they're called. I actually can't remember. Uh, maybe I can check somewhere? Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, okay, so there's the Wilderberg, which is what I'm playing as, which are the orcs, and then there's like the elves and the, and the humans. And there's like loads of different races as well that uh, you can play as ally with. So I think if I zoom out, uh, some of our alliances, wherever they are, oh, they've moved. Well, he is not an orc. Fine, let's. Uh, can we attack him? What level is he? I think. So he's the League of Order. He's the humans. He's got one victory. Let's attack him. Let's attack our neighbor. I know. We'll, I tell you what. We'll scout first. Is an Indus by scouting other Lord cities. We can gain information about their garrisons that will aid us in future battles. Enjoy CT gaming. Have fun, dude. Right. Let's scout him. Oh, okay. He has a shield. Right. I wonder... Let's go and attack these guys. Level four. We can take these guys on. Let's kill the level fours. Okay, here we go. Can we, uh... Right. Attack. Uh, right, let's create a legion with this guy, the big boy. Get them off our doorstep. Oh, okay, they're getting destroyed. Easy peasy, baby. I only fight strong enemies. So this is what I like about this. Like, the, the combat feels a lot more free. It's not locked into like specific, um, what's the term? Instant scenarios. Like the combat's a lot more free. Like I can't just go out and like scout stuff. Oh, it's a logging camp. Once the necessary conditions are met, you may deploy work rhinos. Resources. Okay, I want to see what work rhinos look like. Do I have anything else? Okay, let's take that legion out. Oh. Okay, we'll kill those second. I only fight strong enemies. Got seven minutes to gather those, and then hopefully they don't run too far away, so I want to go kill them. Would you be interested in covering Warframe lore? Um, possibly at some point. I think I've said this before, but I used to grind Warframe, like, absurdly hard in, like, 2013, 2014, when it was still a really small game. I used to play a lot of it. Um... And I've, I've tried getting back into it so many times over the years, but, like, it is such a hard game to get back into. When you take a break from it, coming back and trying to play it again is not easy, let me tell you. Like, it, that game changes so much so frequently. Mining Gamer, welcome, dude. I'm all right. I'm doing good. How you doing? Welcome to the stream, my friend. I have one key still. Ooh, oh, oh, we've got the the upgrade. Nice. Nice. Uh, right. So does that help gathering? Oh, that helps the, the mill. What the high end? Oh my god, this massive skill tree. It's gather speed of gold, wood, or a mana. Uh, 
Right, let's increase the attack of our units. You know what? I'm going to ask for some help. Hopefully this someone helps me speed it up. You'd like to think they would do. Need level 5 Shaman Hurt. Need level 5 Foundry? Where's the Foundry? There it is. Nope. Right, you know what? Let's speed that up. Stick a 1 minute speed, speed up on it. This is Halo 3 like we've never seen it before. But we did um did a lot of Halo 3 earlier. Ryan, if you, if you want to watch the VOD when it's over. Pause. Played a good three hours of uh, very two very different interpretations of Halo 3, let me tell you. I think people were surprised at the second one in particular. How long has I got left? Fight. Five minutes. Ooh. Oh, the bomb. I forgot about that. The magic bomb. Right, that's on that dude. That I, I need to use that guy. I need to create a new uh, legion. Oh, I can actually look at this guy's. Oh, dude, look how look how peasant this guy's town looks compared to mine. Imagine not going for the orcs. Imagine not choosing the orcs for the absolute alpha chad architecture with the bones. Imagine. Alright, Ryan. See you in a bit, dude. Enjoy. Can I actually... Uh... Okay. I want to attack these guys. It's create a new legion. Here we go. Right, now we're talking. I want to take this guy out. He's only level one, but he's got a good axe. This enemy is extremely oh. powerful. We should defeat lower level darklings okay. to level up our heroes. That would Okay, maybe we don't then. Maybe if we're getting war if the game is warning us not to do it, maybe we don't. Uh instead I need to find a level right, we search for a level one. There we go. Right, create a new legion with that dude in. Oh what Thankfully, our losses were slight. He just got one tapped. Oh no! <laughs> okay, uh, they're healed. Oh, oh, what is that? We're getting attacked by somebody. Where is that? Can I go to it? I think it's. I'm not sure where we're getting attacked. This, uh, we're getting attacked at some kind of resource point. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just ignore it and let him do do his thing. You know what? Let's uh, upgrade the shaman hut, and then we're actually going to speed it by one, two, three, four. There we go. That'll be done in a sec. You get so many of these. Uh, Speed up boost. Holy. Dude, look at. I'm just better than all these guys. No one else is getting upgrades this fast. Opinion on Infinite Infection. I'll be honest, I've actually not played much of it since Season 4 came out. Um, I've literally just been playing Squad Battle. <laughs> like, that is all I've been playing in Infinite. Squad Battle is the only thing. Um, I enjoyed Infection. Uh, it was a bit, maybe a little bit fast paced. For my liking, but I still enjoyed it. Um, and it, it worked as infection. It wasn't like Halo 4 where they tried to radically redesign it. It worked. Um, but I will say Squad Battle has literally just been taking up all my time. Like, when I hop on Infinite, all I want to play is Squad Battle. I don't want to play anything else because Squad Battle is so fun. If they ever got rid of Squad Battle, like, that would be one of the worst ideas ever. Remember guys, download Call of Dragons for your boys link. Link in the description and also link in the uh, in the chat right now. If you do exclamation mark COD, it'll pop up. Oh dude, they got they got battered. Oh wait. Technically or scouting will be cancer city shield. Ooh, maybe not. 
I don't even know what level that guy is either, so I don't... Oh, and he's got more troops than I do. I will not risk it. We need some more troops, actually. We'll speed those up as well. Uh, I need to grade them. I'm not sure how I do that. Oh, another weapon, I think. All right, Flavio, thanks for stopping by, dude. I appreciate the support. Have a good one, man. Uh, I can't read that. Strength intrigues me. Would you? Oh, I... Where is it? In the Poland Empire Alliance. I will deny, because I will not betray my current alliance. I'm loyal. Yeah, I heard the firefight rumors. Um, I'm For me, I'm curious, because firefight for me... I've said this loads of times, but I'm actually not, like, the biggest firefight fan. It's, like, fine. It's all right. Um, it's all right, but, like, I'm, I'm not too fussed about it. But I, I'd like them to do something with it that's different to get me interested in it. Let's read that. And then uh, do that, do that. Yeah, squad battle. I, I, yeah, squad battle was so good. I like how everyone is almost in like unanimous agreement that it's the best thing in Infinite. Like I've seen so many people getting back into Infinite, myself included. Like I barely played Infinite since launch until they had a squad battle. I played when a season came out for like two days, and that was it. Um, but then squad battle got added, and I've been playing like loads. So much that I've literally practically finished season. Four is it? I think the newest, whatever the newest season is. I basically finished that battle pass already. Um, just I've been playing so much. You know what? I've got so many of these gathered up from doing those challenges. I'm just can't, if we can get another one. I may as well upgrade everything. Spearman two required. Oh, is that? Hang on, is that in the the Sears Council? Yes, it is. There it is. Okay, it's going to be a while before I get that. How long's left? Three minutes. I just hope they keep adding more maps to Squad Battle. Because it's like... It, I've, not, I've actually not played it since they added Waterworks or... Um, that Halo 4 map, Exile, uh, but they are two very good choices for maps, and I hope they keep adding more. All right, give us Sand Trap, give us do Terminal from Halo 2. Oh my god, I can't believe Terminal from Halo 2 has never gotten a remake. Can I take those guys on yet? Uh... Okay, yeah, I should be able to. I will lead the army. This is going to be a pretty even fight, I think. Level 4 versus level 4. But that dude has a goddamn bomb, so... Oh, yeah, they're getting battered. <laughs> Hell yeah. Swift victory. Fuck, take those on. Fight those. Got a thirst of battle now. Is that for Warzone? Uh, yeah, I'm, see, for, for me, with Warzone, I'm not like. Oh no, no, fight again. I didn't want to ward you away. I'm not too fussed about Warzone. I, I prefer classic BTB. Um, I actually tell you what I do miss. And it was kind of a prerequisite for Warzone, but Dominion from Halo 4. I love Dominion. I thought Dominion was really good. Oh, glory. I actually had more fun in Dominion than I did in Warzone, to be honest with you. Like all the, the base building stuff in Dominion, even though it was like pretty pretty unfleshed out, they could have done a lot more with it. Um if they carried it into Halo 5. But like putting down the auto turrets and stuff and putting up the like the, the shield barriers and the walls and stuff and building all that stuff was really cool. I really I, that's a mode as well that I really hope they bring back. I feel like Dominion would be so good. 
For all the stick I'll give Halo 4's multiplayer, it's, it's some of its moods. I mean, it, it destroyed all, I hated our ball in Halo 4, but um, stuff like stuff like Dominion and Regicide was really good as well. Regicide, was, in fact, that's another one. Regicide was sick. Why did Regicide never come back? Regicide was great. Dominion was great. Extraction was like a CTF level competitive mode. It was that good. None of that stuff ever came back. I don't understand why. I I don't get it. All right, I need more axe throwers. Uh, yeah, I'll speed you guys up. Great it. game is Call of Dragons, which you can download by hitting the link in the description or the link that Nightbot keeps posting in chat. Download it for that link, uh, for your boys link, personal link, and uh, start playing today, my friends. Okay, can I upgrade any of his talents yet? Talent. Ah, I can. Illustrate our hero's potential. Can you play Dominion in MCC? That's actually a very good question. I don't think I've ever played... I mean, it's, I think it's in MCC. Every time but it's not in matchmaking, I don't think. I've never played it. Talent point. You can allocate talent points to a hero. Yeah, a little bit, uh, Krogan. A little bit. Setting up differing there's, like, PvP in it. There's PvE. There's campaigns. There's a whole, like, fleshed-out story with a lot of characters and, like, deep lore. Um, the cutscenes are really good as well. I'm hoping we get one soon. Oh, hell yeah. I'll max that out, then. Uh, and I have another talent point. What's that? March speed increase or... Okay, I'll definitely increase defense first. Right, so this boy... He's my main fighter now. Level 5. I don't think... No. Back heart. Each hero has their own unique skills. And they can lead our forces in a variety of situations. Okay, Brute, yes. You can use hero tokens to upgrade the skills of that when upgrading. An eligible skill is... Okay. Do I have a... Oh, I don't have a token yet. Oh, no, never mind, I do. Oh, okay. That's the axe move. Uh, and I don't have any more tokens for him. Not yet. Okay. Dude, that boy is thick. That is a true, true brute. That's a chieftain in the making right there. <laughs> I know the Krogan is in Mass Effect. I mean, I've never I've, I've never been able to get into Mass Effect. I've played it a few times. Never been able to get into it. Um, but I know I know the Krogans. I know what the Krogans are. So I remember there was that awful fight scene in... Um, was it in Andromeda? There was that absolutely terrible fight scene between those two crews. And it was like... They were, they were like... That really, really, really bad one. Uh, okay. I need to reinforce that one legion that I've got. With some more troops. Oh, my wall's not upgraded either. That needs upgrading. ASAP. Upgrade that instantly. Uh, right, level 6 Shaman Hut. Level 6 Foundry. World of Hall, okay. Oh, I've not even built a Beast Pen yet to train the Wolf Riders and the Work Rhinos. Oh, your yeah, name's not even from Mass Effect. Small world, I guess. Right. Let's get this upgraded. Speed run the upgrades. It's the power of doing tons of stuff in the game already and having so many of these uh, time skips from just playing the game. 25 minutes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Hell yeah. Right, now that can be level six. Two hours, goddamn. Oh, I need more wood. Okay, let's go farm that lumber yard just outside this one. So now we have work rhinos. I will lead the army. 
So, let's... Oh, they took a while to train as well, actually. I have to speed those up. Okay, so I can actually bring that stuff back now. <laughs> There's Halo 3. We played Halo 3 earlier uh, in the stream. And don't worry, guys. This stream is going to be public on my channel, so you can get back and watch it whenever you want. Uh, you won't have to worry about finding the link. It'll be on my channel, public. Oh. Okay, we're getting attacked at that lumber yard again. I think that's where it is. Yes. Oh. Oh, he's got a goddamn ballista. Okay. Oh, I don't want to count. No, I don't want to lose my city shield. I'm going to get raided if I lose that. Okay, heal those guys up. This game has a good soundtrack as well. I like these songs. I still can't upgrade it. Uh, upgrade the Seer Council. I need those upgrades ASAP. 20 minutes. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh my god, I have so many more to get as well. Look at all these skips I'm getting. The grind is truly real. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Okay, I think we need to go back into battle again. Let's kill some more Darklings. Or oh, actually, I might even go mine that. If I send... Yeah, I'll send him out. Enemies? Those guys, they're walking off. This guy can't super jump. I actually can't. I tried so many times when I was doing great Halo 2 to super jump. Yeah, I, I mean, the BTB match is infinite, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not like... I don't really think any of them are that great. That none of them, I was talking to someone the other day about this. Um, none of them in Infinite feel like, they feel like big arena maps. They don't feel like BTB maps. Like playing Squad Battle and playing like Zanzibar or Valhalla or Rat's Nest that do feel like actual BTB maps. It, it You can tell the difference, I think. I just hope they never get rid of Squad Battle because I don't know what I'd play. <laughs> I don't know what I'd play in Infinite if they, never got, if they ever got rid of it. I doubt they will do this. I guarantee that that is the... I guarantee that's the highest um, population mode in the game. And besides, like, Team Slayer or something, or, like, uh, Quick Play. Maybe Quick Play probably is, to be honest with you, but besides Quick Play... Okay, there we go. I can upgrade it now. Right, let's... Uh, let's skip this. I'm going to use 24 of these. There we go. Level six down, baby. Bring these boys back. Okay, I used a lot of my skips on that. Let's pop some of these chests open. Demon grenade jump, bro. Vintage. All right, what is this? Oh, it's a medal. Grants a small number of star points. Interesting. I wonder if I can upgrade my hero again. If I go to... Uh, where is it? Heroes. Okay, he has no talent points. Poor guy. Oh, their star point. Right, okay. Star point is let you... Okay, got it. Death Island would be so good at infinite. De Dude, Death Island with a repulsor and a grapple would be like... Oh, how has that not happened yet? I don't understand. That that combo would be so good. Like, I'm actually amazed at how good... Oh, how, how like... The maps in... The, the classic maps in infinite play quite similar. But at the same time, like, a lot of the differences still feel really good because... Of the grapple and the repulsor. Those two in particular really work well with the old maps. That guy... Oh, that's the AI scouting me out. Okay. Let me search for some level fives. Yeah. 
Ah, here we go. Let's send the big boy to attack. In fact, can I... I kind of need to add some more spearmen to that. Or actually, wait, was it spearmen? Yeah. I need to remember how to do that, though. Not the storehouse. Oh, oh can, anyone, can anyone come help me, maybe? Would any kind of lioness member want to come help me? Oh, wait. <laughs> Those guys kicked me out of the alliance. That's, oh, god damn it. That, dude, that's why I got that notification from the Polish Empire to join their alliance. Those guys kicked me out. God damn it. No wonder all the bases disappeared from next to me. I do hope three four three keep adding more forge matchmakers. Uh, they said yesterday they're adding um, they're adding a forge remake of Countdown from Reach into matchmaking, and Countdown was like one of the three good maps in Reach. For me, I love Countdown, so I'm looking forward to that. Can I train? Oh, I can train more, but the oh no, don't have enough gold. Let's go fight somebody. Those level fives. Multi create. Ah. Right. Okay, here we go. March. I will lead the army. New Halo Wars DLC looks wicked. <laughs> not me. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Rest in peace. The level one got destroyed. But don't worry. The big boy, the brute chief, and leveled up. Let's fight another day. If two people grapple each other, uh, they like follow each other, and then the, the grapple at the front eventually despawns. Uh, eventually despawns, so that they, they come to a stop. Halo 3 was earlier in the stream, my dude. When this goes to a VOD, uh, I'll put timestamps in the description so you can see where everything is. Right, let's... Uh... We need to upgrade the lumber mill just yet. Walk with honor. Let's upgrade Bakhar. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, that levels him up. Right, sweet dude levels him up. I don't usually drink stuff like this. <laughs> but thanks. Chief. Well, you now, Bakhar. Draw your sword. What do you think? About the train gun to find Bakhar squaring off against another soldier. That took no time at all. <laughs> I gave him one drink and goes crazy. I thought I'd find what I've been sparring for days hmm. and haven't found this to be too strong. Nah. I just haven't found but where can go? Right, let's take you out into the world into the wilderness and fight someone that's a higher level than you. That will give you a, a reality check. Oh, that's his story. Right, okay. Right. Oh, dude, boarding action with grapples. I, I remember saying that before Infinite came out, I made a video about maps that had worked really well in it. And boarding action was one of the ones that I mentioned. That with grapple and repulse would be so sick. I wish we'd get more like experimental maps like that. Um, that's why... People roasted that Chasm map when they released that in Season 3. Um, and I don't think... I, I'm not going to sit here and say Chasm is an amazing map in, in Infinite. It's not. But it's just something different that I appreciate. It's not just like your typical cookie-cutter, like, three-lane map. It's like, it tried something different. It wasn't amazing, but it was just... It was a what? different... It mixed up the flow when you were playing through matchmaking. It wasn't just like... Uh, oh, actually, yeah, we probably should explore some more. It wasn't just three lane after three lane after three lane. It was like it was something different. And I, I appreciated that. Um, sentry, here we go. Oh, we have two scouts now. Right, send you all out. Find more enemies for me to kill.
I guess you pop uh, some of these out of keys from doing quests. Enchanted coins. <laughs> the coins are a cure. Okay. I'm stronger now. I'm just gonna absolutely buff up. Back off. Chill out. Did I just say chill out? Is that a Halo reference in Call of Dragons? Which you can download using my link in the description or in the chat when Nightbot posts it. You see what I'm doing here? I'm stronger now. Back hard, you're gonna get turbo buff. Ooh. Load capacity and the defense, nice. I'm stronger now. Okay, done. Back we go. Uh, scouts are still waiting. Okay. March. Just wait for my report. And then you can go out as well. Explore there. March. Just wait for my report. I will wait for your report indeed. Halo 3 was earlier in the stream, my friend. <laughs> right, let's go out on a fight. Let's take Bakar out for a fight. <laughs> I wish I could kill his scout. <laughs> Let's kill these guys. They're a low level. Enemies dead ahead. Ooh. Oh no, they're more darklings. The mist is gone. So the more you explore, the more that fog goes away, and you know what's near you. And then you can find like more enemies to fight, or more people's more people's like castles and camps to go raid. You know, let's keep moving these guys. So that's what I like about this as well. You can move all the units around like it's an actual RTS. Remember how to do it? There we go. You just drag it, drag and drop. Let's kill these guys. It plays more like an actual strategy game uh, than a lot of other games do. The world is actually explorable for one. Marsh Parsh, that's the plan. Um, it might take a little while, like a month or so. Maybe a bit, bit, bit more than a month to get into it, so I'm still going to have to do quite a lot of research. But I am going to start making videos on 40k, because I've had a lot of demand for it. And it's kind of the same sort of stuff that's up my alley. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to start getting into it for content soon. Oh, dude. That car just destroys them. Got a new mail. Oh, it's just about to rip up. Let's go see what's up there. Dude, Infinity is such a good map. In fact, tell you what. Fight those guys. That car is a titan, dude. Nothing to it. This man cannot be brought down. Anyway, let's kill those as well. Yeah, I've, I literally know, like, the most basic stuff about 40k. Um, I forgot what they were called. I was watching a video earlier about these, a faction that was, like, resurrecting people into, like, machine bodies, but the experiments go wrong. And now they're, like, these, like, undead machine people. Um, I forgot what it's called. There's, yeah, uh, Krogan, I've noticed that as well. That's a new YouTube update, and it's really annoying, so I can't get rid of it either. It's, it's blocking loads of messages for me. It's kind of annoying. I need to fight. I can do a moose on it. Hell yeah. What is that? Man do I heal from that? Are a plentiful source of mana, ah. We are currently unable to gather from to gather mana. We could just see his count double turn. Necrons. That was the one. Necrons. So no fear. Best and worst multiplayer in Halo. Uh, best Halo 2 and then Halo 3. Worst Halo 5. Oh, I wish I knew what level this guy was. Oh, wait. Can we see where he's come from? Oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. I think Bakar's under attack. Where is he? He's up here somewhere. Is it the blister guy again? It's him again. Right, okay. We done here. You know what? We're going to war. I think I'm going to get battered here, but we'll see. Because Bakar's already like half health. 
But this guy has been chasing me around all night. Whenever I go to a camp. Oh, yeah. Now you're running. Oh. Wait. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe we just got destroyed. Let's heal him up. Well, they did have a ballista. So, kind of reasonable. Uh, supplies. Nice. More cooldowns. And what did the other one find? A village. Oh, I have to give him... Okay, I think I have all that. Yes, yes. Oh, I can only have to pay one. Okay. Can I receive a level two tactics manual? Yes, please. That's it, Marsh Rush. Yeah, I, I, remember, I remember that from the video. I will know a lot more about it when I start making content about it. Don't worry. A lot more. So many, so many free upgrades. Remember, guys, if you want to download Call of Dragons, link in the description or the link that Nightbot keeps posting in chat. Click it, download it for you boys' link, and start playing today, my friends. <laughs> Find the flood over there. The green fog is the flood. I really do like how you can like, explore this map in this game, honestly. Like, send your scouts out, explore the area, and then after your scouts have explored the area, you take your units out and then like go and walk around, like actually free walk around it and see what you encounter. Might go and kill some of these guys up here, actually. Yes, I will do. Let's send him out. The the clan has no oh, can he set up camp? Oh, no, just, no. S just stops. That's like every RTS ever. Right, fight. We'll look great when he gets back. Hey, there's new TikTok showing a scene that was never in the campaign. I've not seen that. That's new to me. What was it? I doubt it means anything, to be honest with you. I know, like... It's, it's obvious at this point the campaign DLC is not happening. There's no campaign. <laughs> there's no campaign team at uh, three, four, three. Unfortunately, so it's. Um, hey, chief. I wish it was. Uh, I, I wish it would mean something. Raise him up to fight. <laughs> but gonna raise a wolf. Uh, we fought with. Sometimes. I'm never quite sure whether there are enemies. They're both. You're right. Even though we fight. <laughs> Welcome back, Hedy Rosie. Then, they are both. Work. My lord, your conversation with a hero just gained you trust. Oh, we learn more of his law. Stories. It is a common custom in Tamaris to give sweet to as a gift. Heroes will no doubt be grateful for such a thoughtful gesture. Hell yeah. Gonna give him more sweet dude. Let's get him drink again, have him fighting people in the arena. Huh? Oh, no, I don't have any more left. I have to get it by completing daily objectives. Oh, hang on. I've got loads to... Didn't even check my dailies. <laughs> Clearly. Good Lord. Defeating Darkling legions. Okay. When your peacekeeping progress reaches... The dark keys. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I've, I've already opened some of these. Yeah, let's fight him again, boys. Bring them down. I will lead the army. Yeah, I'll have a look. We'll have a look after this, uh, Christopher. Interesting. Like I said, I doubt it means anything, but we'll have a look. Uh, we'll have a look in a minute. Oh my god. Okay, they're actually kind of destroying us, I think. Oh no. But that was a close fight. That was a very close fight. So I can barric oh I can barricade that. Interesting. Right. Uh where's the building set? The goblin grotto, here we go. Speed that up. What can we build? Goblin market. Oh, 
can trim wit. Okay, there's a, lo oh, a lot of losers have to build. Okay, what do these do then? Even in a, in a place that reveres might as much as Wilderberg, the curses of a satyrs are not looked upon with favor. Hmm. Okay, I'll get some mage units, I guess. Can't say no to that. Yeah, I won't greet it. Greet it again. The power of grinding out quests. Would you look at this? Lightning efficiency. Lightning efficiency. All right, Craig, and thanks, dude. Favorite MP map from Infinite? Probably Aquarius. Aquarius to me feels like a really, really good, uh, not like replacement, but like different take on the midship formula, kind of. I like it quite a lot. Right, let's claim all these benefits. Look at that. Oh, I've got an elite medal. Hmm. You know, I kind of like the ominous, like, Eye of Sauron looking thing. Let's keep that. <laughs> not quite, Dover. The Halo 3 was earlier in the stream, though. And there was a lot of it, fear not. There was a lot of it. Uh, right, let's... One last thing we'll do before we go and check out that TikTok is... Ooh. Let's go, let's go help him. Let's go help that guy. Oh, no. Okay, no, we can't. We're going to fight these guys instead. And I think if we do that... They're going to destroy us. Or... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, right. Let's go, let's go sabotage this. Oh, no. Hang on. I need to go... Um... In fact, where is Bakar? Is Bakar back here? Oh, okay, great stuff. Max out his defense twice, and then we can go health, gather speed, or nah, upgrade the health. Hell yeah! God, there's so many skills. Jeez. Catch you on his little video. I mean, you never know. Oh, yeah, we used that. Oh, that's an item that he's got. We used that already. Got more of his story. Got more voice lines as well. I'll teach him all a lesson. I'm, I'm stronger now. Can we grid the wall again? No, not yet. Is that... Oh, that thing killed that guy. <laughs> Whoever it was attacking that got destroyed. Let's get these guys. Uh, okay, so I guess we're using this guy then. I think he's going to die. I think he's going to get absolutely clapped. Yeah. That <laughs> oh, that's what I get for not using Bakar. Right, okay. I think that's going to do it for Call of Dragons uh, for today. Uh, guys, don't forget... Go and download Call of Dragons, my link in the description. Uh, or also the link that Nightbot is posting in chat. It's my personal link. Download the game through that link. Uh, and come play with me. Come play with me. Uh, I'm really enjoying this game. Because, like, honestly, mostly, it's because of the, the way that you can move around the world. This feels like a... I mean, you can see how big the world is. It's huge. Like, absolutely massive. And you can genuinely explore all of it. As if it were, like, a like an MMO. But it's got like all the typical RTS mechanics of like building units, building armies, upgrading units, upgrading your base, building like utility and economy things. There's a lot in it. Um, and also a lot of lore as well. Tons of factions like orcs, elves, uh, goblins, which we don't actually see. Oh, no, no, we do see them. There they are. There are the goblins. Uh, and of course, if you do, if you do start playing, be the, uh, what are they called? Wilderberg. Build the Wilderberg faction. The cool orcs. Right, I'm going to go to that real quick. So yeah, thank you very much to Call of Dragons for sponsoring the stream. I appreciate that. And thank you all for watching it as well. Uh, I had fun doing that. I had a lot of fun doing that. Exploring the world and training up my boy Bakar to destroy everybody. Okay, let's have a look at this TikTok before we round out the stream. Right. 
right, give me one sec, guys. Roast of food would taste pretty nasty, I'm not gonna lie. Just like rotten flesh, pretty much. Okay, let's have a look. So if I go to in-game, and then I go to, do, 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 close that. Where's desktop? Okay. Right, so apparently this TikTok here, is it this one? When you fumble the flag. Oh yeah, people are saying that in the chat. Gone. 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 Well, it wasn't us. Are you sure? Yeah, of course, it wasn't us. Good. Good. Gone. 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 Do you guys recognize that? Well, it wasn't us. Are you sure? Yeah, of course, it wasn't us. Good. Good. Gone. 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 But it wasn't us. Are you sure? Yeah, of course it wasn't us. Good. Good. I don't recognize that. Gone. Gone. What's the comment saying? <laughs> yeah, P DLC, what is this? Is this DLC? This isn't in the game? Interesting. To be honest, what that probably is, is like a cut cut scene or something. Um, although it's weird that they'd use that for something like this. That's very, it's very, that's not the kind of thing they'd usually do. Because it causes this, like if you, people, they know how much people want campaign DLC and they know that they're not gonna do it. So it seems a bit of a weird choice to use this. Well, it wasn't us. Are you What's she even talking about? What, what would be gone? It's been a long time since I played Infinite's campaign, so I'm trying to remember what would be gone. Maybe the index? I don't even know. That is definitely a new scene though, isn't it? That is for sure a new scene. Huh. Of course it wasn't us. Good. Good. Yeah, Cortana, maybe. It wasn't us. Are you sure? Yeah, of course, it wasn't us. Good. Good. Gone. Gone. I'm trying to remember what it could be. Gone. What could be gone? What? What? Nothing was stolen. The whole thing is about the reformation and rebuilding the ring, but nothing, nothing gets stolen. That's like something was stolen from the ring. And uh, what's his name? I just think Reflex is getting angry that someone stole it. I don't know. Weird. Very weird. Well, if you want to go check it out for yourself, that's the TikTok. Um, but with that said, I am going to... Look at that. Seamless. Around this stream right here. My friends, thank you all very much for watching. Like I said, this will be up as a VOD um, when when the stream ends, uh, with timestamps as well. So if you want to go back and watch New Covenant or watch Last Resort Zombies, then you can do. Um... I will see you all in my next video about the Arbiter, actually. Actually, that'll be a very good video. Next, and when it's going to be out. Probably next Thursday? Friday or Thursday? One of the two. Um, one of the two. Yeah, so make sure you ring that bell and keep an eye out for that one. Sub if you haven't done already. And uh, yeah, thank you all once again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will, if you'll give me one sec, if you'll give me one second so I can... Here we go. Here we go. I will round the stream.